All these conversations are happening. I'm thinking to myself, maybe you man ain't real. Welcome because, to the Canelo ledge, fam. How because, you doing? No, I hear that. Yeah. You're welcome, cuz. I hear that. I the hear trainer that. stopped for you still, so you jumping on board, yo. Yo, I'm just look, I can do it like money made, glamorous ting. 12 rounds unanimous ting. Catch your fans on an analyst ting. That ain't KG and Travis's ting. That's undefeated, undisputed like Lennox. Do it on points, jab your head off. Who tried to say that AJ fell off? Must have never had Nigerian jello. What's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of the Undefeated Podcast. The only podcast with two undefeated fighters, fam. Chatting it up. Bro, what's your tail of the tape? Listen, I'm O and O. But listen, if I did and when I do... Talk the things. Listen, everyone's getting to sleep. I'm coming to the ting. I'm coming to the ring, yeah? In all black, yeah? <laughs> all black. On the back of my on the back of my top, mm. R.I.P. Harambe fam. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. G, I swear to you. R.I.P. <laughs> Harambe fam. I'm coming in, you know, saying rest in peace to gorillas, fam. Because I'm sending gorilla punches, fam. No one's safe. I've been watching wildlife recently, fam. <laughs> you yeah. can tell it's on your mind. G, I've been watching said, wildlife. Rest in peace, Harambe. <laughs> rest in peace, Harambe. My G. Listen, I've been watching wildlife and these these gorillas give it up, fam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's I feel you know, when they get into there. <laughs> Listen, when they get <laughs> they to the get primal, smashing. bro, so, I try don't know. It, try and take his misses and watch There you the go. Madness. There you go. And that's me. When it's come to war, I'm a gorilla mourning one of my dead brethren. Oh, sick. your face is finished. That's Don't let me fight. O and O. I feel like I don't know if you want to really put that Keep out there. Keep me out the <laughs> ring, fam. Gee, I got Harambe on my back. And the rest of the, the gorillas with me. Come on, let's go. What's your tail of the tape, bro? Man. It's two and all, you know, yeah. uh, fifty percent knockout rate. Mm. One, uh, one of my opponents was able to complete the fight mm. due to the referee feeling it was need to wrap it up. Oh, the referee uh, stepped in now. Referee stepped in and saved the okay, day. Okay, cool, man. Just because it's like he maybe he beat the count, but it's like you could tell his eyes was all gone, glazed, bloodshot eyes, legs wobbly. There you go. Mom's crying ringside. It just wasn't <laughs> worth the hassle. So. Oh, they got the shot of mum as well. <laughs> yeah, they got the shot. <laughs> They got the shot, they mommy. Got the you know? shot. <laughs> they were one tear. Tears was rolling down. The kids was crying. I didn't really want to have to do it. Yeah. I was ready to go, but yeah. naturally, humans prevailed. Yeah, no. Nah, see, I had to work on my story because your story always gets good every week because something's <laughs> happened. It's so hard to happen, do something with O and O. Like, <laughs> there's nowhere to go, fam. <laughs> so now you just got to talk about if I did. Do you know what Are you seeing what I'm saying? But you know what it is? I peaked oh, way too early, brother. I went, <laughs> I went off here. <laughs> tissue. Been got tissue. I peaked way too early because I started off with the MGM Grand. Mm. So now it's like I just got to take it away from the capacity. <laughs> now you got to talk about it. Make it more human. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's, this is a great week for us, though, man. Fam. It's a, it's No, it's an awesome, it's a super week. Landmark week. Come on, it's a landmark week. We're going to, even though there's no guests here, this is still a special pod today. Mm. Yeah? Mm. We've got to do a T4 clap because it is our, it's our birthday. We're one, one today. One year anniversary. Come on. Undefeated anniversary. One and listen, I just want to shout out all the people in the like you lot. You're sharing this video, you know. Mm -hmm. Our last pod, yeah. Obviously, it wasn't the Spencer one. It Spencer came and done a madness. Spencer said, "Twelve. What did he say?" <laughs> Spencer came and said, "Twelve K." It's mad. Like that, yeah. And it happened, mm, yeah. Mm. But you lot are sharing the thing. We're seeing it's it's creeping up. Nah, for Rocky, real. I'm what. I'm watching the thing, you it's know, vibes, man. at one point something. Do you mm. know what I mean? So shout out to everyone that's like sharing it, supporting it. This is mad. This is mad. You're not just doing been, it now. The growth has been mad. The journey's been nuts. The yeah. stuff we've been able to do in this time is just insane. You know what? I went back and I watched the first episode. Oh, it's mad. Bro, just look at us sitting the mad growth. close. Bro, we, were close. <laughs> we were sitting Whoa. mad close, heavily Bro. heated debates. Gee, I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know when you can't do that? <laughs> it's like I can't even... <laughs> Yeah, no, no. It's, it's been mad. I think that's helped us, you know. When we started off seeing that close, yeah, yeah it, was, it just made us, even if you didn't even like each other, <laughs> being that close. Being that close to someone, you just have to become friends. Mm -hmm. It felt mm -hmm. like we're doing a we're doing our show in a smart car. That's how close we were, fam. It was nuts. Do you know oh, what I'm saying? It is. Um, no, for real. For with real. wait, but seriously, have you got a happy, have you got a favorite moment of the journey um, of the year? So sick, man. Um, I really, I mean, I feel like the, I feel like the Lennox, favorite episode. I feel like the Lennox journey, the Lennox episode. That's was like the a one. proper. I mean, the whole experience of being in Vegas and yeah. the stuff we went through just to lock down the interview, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it was nuts. This is some of the stuff you don't even know about, but that was just like a proper mad time. And I was just like, right, yeah. this is... You know when you get that feeling? Because when we were walking through MGM Grand at one point, and it feels nuts to be able to say that, but we was walking through MGM Grand, I was yeah. like, right, like, 
we're here. We're like, here. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, it was the undefeated t shirts. That was what was making me smile, you know? Um, we still owe Smidge. <laughs> <laughs> we owe Smidge the t shirt. Yeah. We owe and a hat. A hat. <laughs> we owe him merch. But we're going to make some changes. Smidge, changes are coming. So yeah, yeah, don't yeah. worry. With the new thing, you're getting that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You'll enjoy that more, trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, so that we did that. Mm. Yeah, that was a big moment. What about you, man? Has everyone got like a moment that was like, because my moment is different, you know? What's yours? My favorite moment. It's not. It's become my favorite now because it just let me know something about me and you. My favorite moment, and it wasn't my favorite moment at the time, is when I took on the t- when I took on the mandem when I had when we had the Tyson Fury argument. You see it. The Tyson Fury. The Tyson argument. Fury. We had a Tyson off Fury camera. Uh, off camera. Oh my we days. we recorded an episode, yeah. If you look, the, it, if you go back, the episode before the Lennox episode, yeah, yes, where we're just sitting there and we're mad it, tired in the face. If you ever see the way the argument kicked off after we recorded, oh my days! It started on the recording. You would have thought he had shares in Tyson Fury. <laughs> the way he was fighting for Tyson fam I couldn't believe no and the whole room was like go bed the whole room was telling me (laughs) the whole room was telling me no and we no the argument was so real yeah I left I left to go for a walk this is when I said that we're brethren this is when I said we're brethren because I was vexed fam and I was thinking (laughs) we're not getting paid for this we're just arguing there's not even this is not even content off air off air cameras are packed away and we're nothing toe to toe (laughs) Going for it, mad. No, and we could have been late because it was flying back to was flying back the next day. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That was mad. So that that's was hilarious. That, that becomes one of my favorite moments purely because I said to myself, "Raw, like we're passionate for no reason. Like <laughs> right now, we're passionate. For no real. one can see this, for and real. we're like." And it was mad because the next day it was like, you're right. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we just started moving. So that was my that was my special moment. That's still. funny still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to know that, because it's just to know that we can get to that place mm. and double back. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. dope. That's fire. Yeah, so I so, said, some men are sensitive. Safe. Bruv, <laughs> you stop talking to men. After that trip, boy, <laughs> undefeated is finished and I got someone. <laughs> I'm doing undefeated with Prince Harry. <laughs> Days. Shout out YRD. <laughs> <laughs> it could, wait, wait, can you imagine if you carried it on, but it could, it's something different as well. No, it'd be two separate pods and we both got someone else replacing us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there with Gus Khan. <laughs> You're taking a liberty. You tried to level your to go. You tried to go different though as well. Yeah, I hear it. I see it. <laughs> No, but um, yeah, happy birthday to us, man. Yeah, for real, for yeah. real. Salute. Feeling good? Don't know. Bap, bap. Listen, um, we got bear to talk about. Yeah. Yeah? But I just want to, are you okay? I'm good, bro. I'm good, man. Still you know on tour? Saying? Still on tour, bro. It's just city to city to city. It's, it's, it's fun, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, you obviously get tired every day, but it's it's more fun than it's not. So mm. I'm just, I'm proper glad for this experience, man. It's yeah. sick. People well done. meeting all these people, different cities. What is it like though? Like just because it's like this is you're so, on a tour bus and everything now. Yeah, yeah. Playing PS4, I'm dominating the, the FIFA league on the and tour you're bus. You're dead, so I don't even know how you're. Do- <laughs> I don't even know how you're dominating. You, you know you're. I don't dead. know where this narrative. No, you're dead. no bro. I tell you why I gotta say that. When was the last time I you played FIFA? I tell like, you why I say that. The last real tell, FIFA that you I played. I tell you why I say Go that. Because yeah? my brother Aaron also said the same thing. Bro. But I'm like, I don't understand <laughs> when it's narrative of me Aaron being dead at FIFA. Aaron saw you playing FIFA online. What FIFA was he playing? And he and he got upset. I'm up to date now with the FIFA. No, but I'm what playing. was he playing? I was playing FIFA 17. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah? In big 2019. <laughs> but there's a method to my madness, yeah? He's got money as well. I like... <laughs> He's got which money. Is, which further reinforces the fact that there's a method to my madness. I like to give... Because sometimes when you buy a new game, it's the same game with a couple tweaks. So I'm like, let me give it a couple buffers, buff, buffer years and let me get a new thing. And now I'm dominating on FIFA 20. When Travis is playing FIFA, yeah. Thierry Henry still there. All these players. <laughs> you make me sick. Listen, no, but no. So you're dominating the madness. Uh, yeah, I lost my first game just yesterday. Oh, wow. Yeah, bro. Dude. The camera, one of the cameramen on, on the tour. Okay, yeah, cool. Can't was, lose the Kojo, man. No, nah, I beat Kojo still. Yeah, 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 Kojo, yeah, you yeah, remember yeah. that? Kojo's a big man, man. I beat every, everybody on the tour so far except this. I beat this one guy as well already. He got yeah. me in the rematch. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I took him kind of lightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully yeah. Tyson Fury doesn't do the same thing I did. But, <laughs> you know, now I'm focused. I like that. I've, I taste, that. I've tasted defeat and now I'm ready to zone in. Gee, you know I like what you just did there? Because that was the just, nasty segue. Of course. And I'm here for them. Very tight. Let's go. <laughs> Tyson Fury. <laughs> The nasty the segues, yeah. I'm here for. Listen, 
it's fight week. It is fight week. It's fight week. Um, you said you saw something. I, I haven't seen yeah, it, but so you saw I something watched, about a referee. Um, so first of all, I want to shout out BT Sport and like PBS just for their. Their, their fight hype content. Mm. Oh my days! They've it's, really sold this man. It's glossy as well. It's Bro. got like a. There's a lot happening with. Trust me, they've really developed their their promotion because yeah. back in the day, man, they just a couple little videos and that's it. Yeah, Boring yeah. until fight night. So this has been sick. So I watched this um, little mini documentary on the twelfth round when Tyson got up, mm. and it's got all of their perspectives. And the referee gave a really good kind of understanding of why he allowed. The yeah, fight because to you had a you had a and that was one of our major arguments in the fight. What, what we spoke about because I was like. Tyson Fury won that fight and your 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 rebuttal to me was nah how can he win that fight when there was a long count so uh, yeah, yeah let's go is, okay so what do you is, say the, the rules are yeah this is not what I saw in the video but this is what I kind of found out around about the time and the conversations that were happening is that people were saying that the rule state is the referees count to 10 rather than 10 actual seconds oh wow which is for me I feel like that's stupid but if that's the rules, that's the rules. So the referee could get to nine and chill and be like, come on, bro, get up, man. Just relax. It's it's nuts. Really? But yeah, because the count itself, from when he went down, 10 seconds is, is prob- it's longer than 10 seconds. Yeah. Seconds. But he got to nine, so it's his count. Uh, the referee, uh, this is what I saw. I saw the guy count because they start to the count first. So he's obviously, his first role is to get Wilder away. Mm. So the guys sat at the side of the ring, they start counting. So they go one, two, referee looks at them, see his count, and then he continues. But what happened was, one of the guys ringside went four, and then he turned around and went four, five. So he just got two fours in the same count. Okay. So anyway, aside from that, he said that when he w- went over to Tyson Fury, he said one of the things that he noticed, and this is such a sick, why he realized he's such a sick ref. He goes, I looked at his foot while he was on the floor, and his foot was up. Mm. And his foot wasn't resting on anything. And that means that his muscles are still active. He's holding his foot. Oh, up. that's a wicked referee. And I was like, that's a great referee. I to know that, that, that is moment. incredible. And then he goes, when I went over there and I started counting, as I got to a five, Tyson, his eyes looked at me. So I was like, he's oh. still alert. So he knew the resurrection was coming. So then he goes, I'm still going to do the count. I'm still going to count. And he goes, I don't think he's going to beat the count. Mm. But if he does, then cool. So then he goes, boom. He said, Tyson was up at nine. Mm. So then he said, I made him walk left and right to see if he was still stable. He goes, ref, back in the day, we used to make guys walk forward and back. But then now further research has shown that any drunk guy could manage to walk forward and back. Oh, this is a super but referee. If you turn left and turn right, he goes, usually you can't change direction and keep the balance right. He goes, I saw him do it. He still had his wits about him. He even hopped on one foot and showed it was okay. And he was like, well, all right, cool. Then he goes, after I let the fight commence, he goes, I changed my distance away from the action because I thought this guy over there is going to come and try and steamroll you. If he mm. does, I don't want you to take too much punishment. So he goes, I'm standing mad close to the action Whoa. just in case, you know, Wilder starts to batter him. And he goes, bro, he goes, the fight's turn. And Tyson's landing some shots of his own. And I'm like, he's back in the fight. He goes, because end of the day, he goes, I want a champion to, to lose definitively. I don't want it to be a thing where he got counted out in the 12th round of a heavyweight matchup because, you know, you you want to see a champ go out the way a champ's supposed to go out. So he goes, when he he made the decision to go through, and he goes, you know, turns out I was right. Brother, and wait. I, I watched that and I'm like... That description, yeah. Can we just do a round of applause in the description? <laughs> and, and a ref, and a ref, and a ref. <laughs> that's, gee, that's someone that's good at their job. Fam, when that's started, someone that went to work, trust yeah, me, trust to me. do their work, to, to go in, not to go and mess around. You know, there's some dickheads that come to work, yeah? Mm. This person, he said he saw the foot. He saw very the muscle. Thorough, very thorough, very thorough. Yeah. Now, I can't be vexed at what he said because oh, he's broken uh, down. And it's the thing about the eyes, which was quite, yeah. it's so amazing. When he said he looked, and then he said, when he got to like six or seven, he said his eyes went real wide. Mm. And he's like, he goes, no, he goes, no, this back. he's back, he's here. And I was just like, flip me, man. That's... You, I'll be under pressure. I'm not going to lie, I start counting faster. Because as soon as your eyes open wide, I'm like, 789. <laughs> <laughs> 789, 10. <laughs> Do you know how scared I'll be, Tyson out here. Bro, I'm not... <laughs> bro, really? the pressure that I'll have here. Just ruin his place in history. 789, <laughs> No, because you're not meant to come back to I life know, like this. I know. It's this not, is a mad resurrection, fam. And the thing is, when you look at the ref job in boxing, yeah? Yeah. Oh, man, you're walking on eggshells. Yes. Because you let the fight continue because it's what the fans want. Yeah. But you're also putting his health in danger if you let it continue to, for too long. So it's like, you got so many things. That, that's that's I high pressure. I would love bro. to interview a ref, you know? Oh, I'd man. love to have a ref That'd just be amazing. sit here and I'd say... Like to, I'd like to have Mills Lane. Oh, Old New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I, yeah, I, I really, because 
the stories that you'll get. Because just hearing that, mm. that was like riveting. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm listening to you because I was like, raw, like, so level of detail. I was watching it. I was like, raw. I was actually, I'm actually gobbed because this, yeah. is, this is phenomenal insight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, obviously, we look at outside and it's like, come ref count. But he's there assessing his body mechanics and his eye contact. And yeah. I was like, yeah, this is this is what I like. It's fantastic. And it was crazy because um, it was Deontay Wada. It's funny seeing their reaction. His to it. reaction. You know, because I swear, he, didn't he do the shimmy? Oh, he kissed his wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did loads. And his he girlfriend's rings out and said, that's what Mary, that's what <laughs> Bro, they, he thought it was over, fam. He couldn't even hide his face. His face yeah. was just like. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah, no, yeah. No, but if you slump a man, bang, bang. Yeah. And that's it? And yeah. he gets up? <laughs> no, nah, bro. That, nah. oh, that's, that's the greatest resurrection in boxing. Yeah. It has to be. Right, let's let's see. Let's let's go back. It's got no, there's no let's resurrection think, think, like that. No, but let's just think about the times where it has happened. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Because all right, so I remember when Joe Fraser. Yeah. I think it was their second fight mm -hmm. when no, the first fight when he when he's back and Joe Fraser won this fight. Fourteenth round, Joe Fraser caught Ali with the maddest left hook, and if you see the way Ali fell down, Ali fell down like a door, bang. Yeah. Bruv, boom. Rolled up and got up like nothing happened. <laughs> Stood there, was a bit wobbly, held the rope for a sec, fight back on. I yeah. couldn't believe it, bro. I Wait. don't think, I don't know if it's... it's, it's yeah, it's, you know, let's ask the fact. This is it. Yeah, this for is the fans, Joe Frazier's, Joe Frazier's Ali knockdown, yeah? Or Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder? No, 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 no. no. Re I'm resurrection. Not, no, I'm, I'm just talking about the resurrection. No, I'm just thinking of, other, I'm thinking of other knockdowns okay. where a man got up and it looked nuts. Uh, I, I think Tyson Fury's one was more impressive because he yes. looked like he was dead. He looked finished, <laughs> he bro. Looked like he, he looked. Was I thought the you know when the um, EMTs, everyone comes into the you know every when <laughs> paramedics, every paramedics yeah. everyone that oxygen can come in the masks. ring. Masks. No, gee, I thought it was oxygen situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Especially how um, Deontay has been speaking before the fight. Deontay right. said, you know, Deontay, I don't like but, when Deontay goes there. But that? you know when he gets into his, about, yeah, 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 I hate yeah, I'm not even yeah. say it on the thing. But um, you know what was funny is watching him talk about Deontay's, Deontay's reaction to it. Because like they asked Tyson Fury, he's like, were you out? And he's like, yes, yes, I was. <laughs> like, you know, he's just straight. <laughs> and Deontay Wilder's just like, he goes, I know there is a God because that's the only way he could get up. Mm. But he won't get up again. I'm just like, boy, you must believe in God now because the way you hit him with that shot. Bro, and... It's okay, so let's get into this now. Because mm. it's fight week, mm -hmm. yeah? And there's a lot of speculation. Have you changed your mind? You've had, a, some, you've had some time Do you know what to really think about it. I just can't see how Wilder doesn't land for the whole fight. Yeah. And I think this time around, because like, even in, in a lot of this content, Wilder keeps saying, he's like, I was nervous. He goes, I was determined to give the fans what they mm. wanted. It was a knockout. He goes, from the opening round, that's all I was doing. He goes, I was loading up on everything. Yep. He goes, and that's not really... It's not really me. Yeah. So I feel like since those days, since those fights, since that fight, he's had two fights on a bigger stage. Yes. Like Dominic Brazil was a bigger audience probably watched that. Yeah. And also the Ortiz rematch. Mm. MGM Grand, he was in the center of the madness, come dressed in nuts. This, it was a spectacle. Yeah. And in the midst of that, he was so comfortable to just be patient and wait and bang his head off. So now I'm looking at him thinking, all right, so now he won't be as nervous. So you're saying he's going to his Canelo confidence back? Yes. That's, yeah, yeah, this yeah. This is what I've been the saying. Big nights, this, is the big why, nights. this is why I feel like, okay, he's got into a zone now where his belief is so high. I'm he's meant got, to be here. Yeah, he's got a presence of someone that's like, I'm the one you should be afraid of. Yeah. And I don't think he had that before. I think yeah. he always trusted his power, but now he's walking in thinking, I'm the one. Do reckon, and I think that's a scary place to be when he's the knockout artist. It's asking you that same question though. Do you reckon Tyson, because I got, I got a feeling that Tyson Fury weirdly feels as I, confident. I as confident. And this is I'm watching Tyson Fury speak bro. and I'm like, is this not the same person that done the resurrection thing? Bro. Yeah? The reason why I find But he's confidence. He's, he's confidence. Got mad confidence. He's like, I'm going to, when I hear him talk, Tyson Fury says nothing short than a knockout. I'm listening to Tyson Fury as he say that with his chest. And this is what makes me laugh because I'm like, you're talking like since then you've looked better and better and better and you just keep getting better. Bro, Man, he's got more powerful. You must You've be. had two weird showings yeah. since that Wilder fight. Like Otto Wellens fighting soon, you know. Is it? Yeah. I will watch that. I actually <laughs> think he's he might be worth watching just to see if he can, I don't know. Kill the, yeah, but carry on, sorry. I'm looking at Tyson, I'm thinking, why do you think, you, why do you think you're going to keep getting better? Because mm. we've got to really ask ourselves this, you know. Yeah. Like, was his performance against Wilder Better than the performance against Klitschko. 
because it was as dominant as far as winning rounds and doing points and that. He just got clipped and went Wait, down. Wait, that's a good question. And don't just let's not steamroll over. No, that no, one. no. Yeah. Hold on. So say that one more time. Was his performance against Wilder better or worse than his performance against Klitschko? As far as how he looked. No, to, against against Klitschko. That was a boxing clinic, fam. Yes, no, but so, what but so was the the first one. It was fight. it was amazing. There, it just, was amazing point, but he got caught. He, he just got, got caught twice. It was exactly what I'm saying. So why is he so convinced, and why is everyone so convinced that Tyson Fury is just gonna get better? Where else? What could, what more can he do in this world of fight? No, because now I'm not as rusty. When I fought, when I fought, when I did fight, um, when I fought Deontay Wilder, yeah. it was my comeback. No, I was overweight. I'm saying to you I was this, I looked, was this. Looked, I am now in the best shape of my life. I'm walking around comfortable so at this weight. So what will he be able to do that he did not do in that fight? And that's where I'm confused. Exactly. <laughs> but I'm saying he has reached his peak. He no, is the best he can get. Be some, in that Wilder fight, yeah. that was the best he could have done. And he almost got Brother, knocked the hell out. As, as my good that's brother, how I feel. Gee, as my good brother, Chris Eubank, Chris Eubank Sr. says... There might be more in the world, fam. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> this world is not drained. Fingers. This world, this world, still there's something to you know go to. There's something to what, dig deep to. Bro. What? Okay, I've watched a lot of Wilder Fury content yeah. this week, right? And what I'm starting to understand, and this is the the issue I've had with Tyson Fury, that mm. I've not been able to grasp, mm. is why do people speak about this guy like this based on those nights? Yeah, because of his dad, didn't it? Yeah, no. his dad talks. Yeah, he's it's, been brought up. Nuts. But with what I'm that. saying is, yeah. It's a different type of energy yeah. that people look at with Tyson Fury. As in, he's that dude that's got that mental X factor. Mm. So I look at it and I think, where's the tangibles for yeah. this stuff? Because you're saying on that night and that night, he's this great. Yeah. And I'm looking, I'm thinking, you're one of these people that their mind can sometimes pull off the unthinkable. Yeah. So I get it. Like, I even saw this mad image, which was proper intimidating. It's like him in one corner with, um, this guy's name, I think it's Mick Hennessy. In his corner before yeah. the Klitschko fight. Okay. And Klitschko's corner, hella red uniforms. Every man. Bro, it's just... It's Shoulder red. pads. It's like a movie, yeah, man. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, me yeah, and my yeah. little trainer and all of these men <laughs> in Russia. <laughs> it looks such a sick image. Yeah. So I'm looking, I'm thinking, cool. Maybe that's you. That's your thing. You're yeah. the, the mental yeah. underdog guy. I get it. You can pull off the madness. But now I'm looking, I'm thinking, that's not going to last forever. Mm. At some point, you're going to have to show that you are have this this range to keep getting better and better. And I just don't understand why people are so confident mm. that he's going to be able to pull it off without some consistency. He is a human, Very right? True. So when I look at Mayweather and stuff like that, yeah, I look at Floyd and I think when Floyd used to walk into the ring, there was always that, even after a rough round, you know he's going to figure it out. Yeah. You know why? Because I saw the video of this guy living in the gym. Mm. People who, he lives and breathes boxing. No, There's but no this fight is going a, on. He's you have running to in Tyson Las Vegas, Fury. Tyson Fury is a boxing man. And right now, yes, we're not talking bro, about overweight Tyson. No, but you're we're not. We're not talking about Tyson Fury has been confidently walking around in the weight that he is now. Yeah, it's he right now. He's saying, if I, because you know what he's saying, what is that thing? He's now saying to himself, when I fought you that time, I wasn't perfect. I came off a mad binge. Yeah, yeah, I've had two crazy fights that I shouldn't really, these, these were horrible fights. Yeah, but right now, I've had enough time, like muscle memory is fully kicked in. Yeah, and there's things I might see in the ring. There's punches that you might throw. I'm ready to counter and I'm ready to move out of the way for. I don't know how he feels that he's now going to become more powerful. I think that's crazy that they're too. He's talking about knockouts. Knockouts. And it's, you know, it is because I'm very gullible. I'm probably the most gullible man in. in that follows boxing. In, that follows <laughs> boxing because Uli Harrison did this to me. Uli Harrison told me, I watched your interview. Uli Harrison, I've been in the mountains. <laughs> yeah, remember that <laughs> before? Hey, Lip's and I sake. said, "Oh my god, all he's gonna do, <laughs> literally." So I don't salesman. know. So he's a great salesman. So I don't know if I once again, I bought the item. I bought the I bought the product that I had no sense buying because, gee, as I stand right here today, mm -hmm. I'm going with Tyson Fury points victory. The logic tells me that I can't go with Tyson Fury just because I look I'm at doing it. I look at it and think to myself, how much better do you think you can get? Like mm. on a on a realistic level, what? Because what is the better version of Tyson Fury going to look like? It's not going to be snappy Quicker. punches. He's already he's already quick. He is already a nimble. Stay out of the way. Stay he's out of danger. Already nimble on his feet. Stay he out of danger. Yeah, he can only do it for so long. You're gonna get punched. You're in the fight. He's not a knockout artist, so it's gonna go twelve. So then it's like, so that means how are you gonna stay out of the way of getting hit 
by one of this guy's big blows. If he does it. Even Floyd okay. got tapped by Manning. Let's play in, this in, game. If he does it, yeah. is he the greatest ever? Hell no. no, wait. In this era. Today. A greatest of this time. Uh, if he you, does yeah, it. Because you, you, you remember what we said? All, yeah. You uh, have to the, be perfect in the to beat him. Of the heavyweights today, yes. that would sit him at the top, in my opinion. Okay. Because I just look at him like, AJ hasn't had that battle yeah. with the, someone that's it's like 50-50. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Except obviously the, the Ruiz, but I feel like that was more of a stumbling block yeah. in hindsight. Okay. Whereas now I'm like, okay, this guy is, these two are the other two in a division. I'm like, yeah. They fight, yeah. That would put him at the top in my in my book. I'm so ex- listen. I'm so excited for fight night. You know, like I, I don't even know. Like obviously you, I think you're like you're performing and stuff. You're yeah, 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 but yeah, I've, yeah. I've, 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 You'll be watching it. I've made sure that yeah. I will be where I need to be. To yeah, watch yeah, 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 yeah. That's why. So don't don't expect. It. I know you lot are probably looking at us like, bro, where's the watch along? Like, what are you looking? Yeah, nah. yeah, don't expect it for this one. <laughs> but the, the up and coming fights, we'll be doing them. But I can't it. wait. Literally, let us know in the comment section. Let us know where you're watching this, man, and how you're doing it. We I really, th- I really want to know what your predictions are. My, I mean, you know what it is here. My concern yeah. is that with this new strategy of trying to bang with Vada and da 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 da, I think it's gonna fail badly. Like yeah. his his main, uh, like if I'm if, okay, if I'm in Camp Fury, mm-hmm. my strategy is literally to just nullify that right hand and just box it a boxing lesson, a good smooth fight, and go to ten. Like yeah. make it ugly, make it boring, make it annoying, and just. Close to victory on points. But we've learned now, we've, with all the boxers that we've had on this podcast, we've learned that boxers are very shrewd and very smart playing mental games. Mm. He's now saying, sending a mental um, game to Wilder that I'm going to come forward and I'm looking for the knockout. Yeah? So Wilder's going to m- maybe make some mental adju- adjustments in his mind of the fight that he thinks he's going to get. Because right now, all I keep hearing from Tyson Fury is we have to, I have to seal it quick. Yeah? yeah. So in Deontay Wilder's mind, subconsciously, I might be making some adjustments. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And just to throw you off just a little bit, because these boxes are their liberties, you know. This mental game is a lot of it is mental. Mm-hmm. Do you mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? So right now I want to take just that little mental advantage. I want you to be thinking, and even if I come out a bit quickly, I want you to be think second guessing at all times. Do you know what that reminds me of, yeah? Yeah. So when Sugar Ray Leonard fought Hagler. Yeah. Right. Um. I think I. I think I read this in his book or I saw it in the documentary. Mm. Either way, one of the things that he did, yeah, and it's actually something that I copied when I had my fights. Sick. Was whenever he'd come out, because he knew that Hagler was a bully and he was he was going to be the aggressor. Yeah. He'd rush out and get sent a ring. There you go. These little subliminal there little messages. There it's like he'd rush out, get sent yes. a ring, and he's he's like he goes that would wind up Hagler because he'd be like, right, how the hell you think you can? Do? And it would force him into a style of fighting. There you so go. It's like, these little things they do add up. However. I don't think Wilder is going to change his game plan regardless of whatever that is. Whatever mm. Fury does. Because Wilder does one thing all the yeah. time. He stalks. He keeps you out with a stiff kind of jab. His jab isn't too bad. And he just waits. So th- that game plan ain't going to need to switch up no matter what you do. If you try to rush Wilder, it's actually going to make it easier. No, but you know sometimes, um, and it's for like people that play football, you know when they say too much information can be negative at time. So mm. now, because you're, you're thinking about all stuff that should be instinctive. Yeah, I believe now when he does that brush ring that um, that Dan Davis was, talking, was about. talking about, Wild is still gonna have to think about that because that's something that he now knows he can't forget that information. They've thrown that into the ether. He has to, maybe if he takes a second or he, it depends how great his mind, how conditioned his mind is to not have to worry about these things. You know what, that's, it's funny, right? Me and my friends had a mad debate about whether because they were my boy Issa was saying that um, he goes. Is is Wilder good enough yeah. to be that attentive to detail? He goes, I don't think he is. I don't think he's capable of like being able to have a detail like that and be that instinctively and react that quickly to yeah. be able to register it. Because when you look at the big knockdown that happened, mm-hmm. he literally just wiped his face and then mm. bang. So I'm like, was that just a, a, a fluke? Mm. Or was that something that Wilder was like registering as like, ha, now, bang. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's it's one of those things that we'll just never know. But like, I think... There's I think- a lot. There's Right now, there's a lot's happening. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's either two ways. It's either Sugar Hill has gassed... <laughs> Sugar Hill's gassed Fury to a point that Fury believes now that he has mad power. Yeah. Or this is just the greatest... This is the greatest mental game that we're playing right well, now. One thing you can't do is is fake power with mental energy. Because if, if you could, Eubank Jr. would be... St- 
spinning man out of this room, brother. You, the amount of times I've seen you, Matt Junior, just lean into everything behind that shot, and man is still standing. So I don't think you can force having power, fam. It just don't. It, it's, it don't come like that. You're born with a big punch, or you're not. That's why it's always suspect when fighters suddenly lose their power, because then you start thinking, did you just stop taking the the drugs? Bro, <laughs> bro. that's a lee back gene will lead it with everything bro no you gotta watch some of the old because obviously man i know what you're talking man about, 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 about. about. bro he was trying to get man out fam I, and i remember when he knocked out um there's a turkish guy in the super in, i think it was a, the competition in that, yeah 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 yeah, yeah, he knocked yeah him out. Man, you could see the relief <laughs> when man was out fam like <laughs> I was like, you know, the new weight, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's up there and I was different. And <laughs> Ubek Celia was talking about, I was thinking to myself, I was happy for him because I was like, finally you can shut these men up. And then since then, you know what I mean? It's been nuts. Yeah, but I, he has to just accept he's not that, he's, he's not the power puncher. But I think Tyson Fury is not willing to accept that. So it could be a recipe for disaster, fam. Cool. Bro, let's mm. go into the comment section before we move on, let's yeah? Because um, last week we got busy. Last week was at it. Um... We had a mad, we had a, like a, put it, he's back. Hey, shout out back, to Punnett, Punnett, it, bro. Done know. good to see you. Yeah, he went in. Yeah. You did. know, he I'm did. not going to lie, you do the dramatic reads better than me. I kind of dyslexic <laughs> right. with my thing, so I do the short ones. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Cool. All right, cool, let's get it. Because he goes in. So he says, um, Hearn gets a lot of grief, but even his next-gen cards are better than the Fury Wilder pay-per-view undercard. Frank Warren is a League One operator to Hearn's Premier League. Wow. <laughs> but I'm calling a Wilder KO. That is such a good point. The undercard is garbage. So yes. just a little heads up, guys. Wake up for the actual fight. <laughs> 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 Don't just be there from 2 a.m. just forcing it. It's... Anyway, so he goes, if Yard was with Hearn, he might not be in the mix for a title yet, but he'd have, been, he'd have a higher profile and probably still be unbeaten. He fought well against Kovalev. And I mm. get that he had no choice but to take that fight because mm -hmm. Warren can't make these fights in normal circumstances. Kovalev needed that fight to hook Canelo for a payday. So if Watsi isn't in the same conversation, it's because he's learning on the way up mm -hmm. in the knowledge that Hearn can secure those great fights and raise his profile on the undercards of great fights. Then he goes on to say, if Dubois is smart, he'll leave Warren. I don't think it makes sense for him to join Hearn, but a move to a US promoter would help him. It's actually quite a good point still. Wicked points. And he goes, uh, I love Brooke, but I'm holding judgment on his comeback. He deserves a good He's payday. He's back. Settle down. <laughs> but I want him to retire before he gets retired. Mm. Khan wasted his career holding out for Pacquiao and Mayweather. Brooke's wasting his holding out for Khan. Mm. Brooke needs to focus on either a light middleweight title shot or a couple of money fights. I don't think he has time to try and do both. He goes, uh, I'm, glad you're, I'm glad you guys are going to keep your original energy. For what it's worth, I think it's right for you. If you were on Sky or the BBC, okay, you'd expect you'd be expected to be more corporate. But podcasts are not about that. I hope Tunde's cool with you because that was a great episode. SA over. Bat, 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 Shout bat, out to Punnett, boy. Shout out to Punnett, man. On the on the subject of Dubois, do you know Dubois sounded like a five year contract with Warren, fam? Huh? Why? Committed. What kind of bondage? <laughs> what kind of bondage contract the, is the that, fam? Shackles of slavery. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he is. Stay in. Let my people go, fam. Um, he's what not, kind of Ramesses contract is he's that, He's not man? interested in freedom. He's what? like, take my best years <laughs> tonight. They should have shown him Prince of Egypt, fam. He's out you, here. What, why would he do that? Fam, I can't think of anything more stupid than that. I'm, There's no... Five years, five years bro. Five There's, years. It's, whatever it is too it's, long. No, I would not sign that. Fam, Especially, I would wait until after this fight, then I might be, sign it. Whoever is advising this guy, bro, oh, you look messed up. Two years max mm. in this era. You're doing this big commitment. Oh my days. That's a mad. He's going to grow old on BT Sports. Gee, I don't even have a phone contract that long, fam. <laughs> like, <laughs> that is a mad what, contract. What five year arrangement could you take today Gee, in any aspect, fam? Listen to me. When they call me on the phone to talk about renewal and they say 24 months, I get upset. I'm it's, like, what it's can we do about this? Yeah. <laughs> It's like I don't like watch it. Commitment, man. It's too long. The same phone? Supposing what? No, nah, man. <laughs> so now I've got to stay with you. It's not even phone, you know. I've got to stay with a whole human. Five years. Five. What's the that? Paper. No, you mean paper. No, no you but I've got to look at what you've been doing. You can't doing. just set P's for boxes in the beginning of, of the contract. It's not. That's not how it works. You do it fight by fight. Yeah, a football five-year contract not, is it's different, It's not a bro. football five-year contract. Totally different. Listen, too. I just don't think you need I'm to be... I'm not staying there. You can't stay with Frank Warren in this era? Bro, that's like... 
That's like having a Microsoft PC, bro. Like a laptop. Yeah, that's not yeah, a Mac. Yeah. That's like having an Amstrad, fam. You're I'm getting further back. You get... No, Amstrad. but Amstrad can get you busy. Windows though. 95 operator, fam. <laughs> Intel inside. Oh, it's too... MS DOS. <laughs> Typing in C to get to the hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> Couple floppy disk and that, fam. Couple floppy disk. Free and me, fam. What are you talking about? Jeez. <laughs> Frank no, Warren no, is Frank not. Warren, yeah. He's not he, in this era today, realistically. All right, cool. He, he's look. End of the day, yeah. It's a bad. It's I'm a not gonna lie because right now, yeah, everything we said, we are not getting the Frank Warren interview. <laughs> no, Frank. No, no, do you know what it is? No, all right. Let's let's talk but about why. No, yeah, it's a exactly. the same energy, fam. Well, let's talk about why talk, I say that. Come, yeah? let's go, fam. I don't think Frank Warren has a. Adjusted that well to this modern this era. New, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we yeah. go to He's Frank Warren's stat sheet back in the day, oh, legend. He's the man. If you retire, your name's going to be in the legendary oh, yeah, promoter so conversation. However, today, it's not. Bro, we are seeing some weird things from Frank Warren, fam. Yeah. I saw them. They, they, he put on a boxing match in the Royal Albert Hall the other, yeah. like, couple, maybe a year ago. The Royal or Albert Hall shows like, are not bad, though. It was a nice venue, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. like, no one's doing that. Now, I understand maybe you're trying to do something new, but, bro, you got to find the formulas. That's of not today really where the youngsters are going exactly, to watch a fight. Isn't that what you got? for the Philharmonic uh, Orchestra in that. You're exactly. going for other things. You're not thinking about you're left hooks and rounds. He's not tapping into the environment today. Look at the adjustments that Eddie Hearn has made over the last few years. Yeah. He can't wait to talk to Cougs. Yeah, yeah, Because he yeah, knows yeah. those one hour episodes, he's communicating with a new era yeah. that operate in the YouTube space. Yeah. Frank Warren is sitting there doing the same things. I'm seeing posters, bruv. <laughs> I'm driving around, I'm seeing Anthony Yard and Billy Joe Saunders on posters. I'm like, Fam, that's not selling fights like that no more, bro. <laughs> no, but you know I mean? don't like, underrate the post now, playing. No, I hear like, that. no, the poster. When's the last time you saw an Anthony Joshua fight poster? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I've seen, I've seen, no, I've there. seen Anthony. What's nuts? Yeah, that's how I saw Anthony Yard. I was in Bagel King. Yeah, I hear that. I was in Bagel King. I hear that. A big poster. And who's doing the numbers? <laughs> We've got to start looking at what's working. Well, when I'm getting apple crumble and custard and I see Yard, I see, bro, bro, I might watch that. Bro, and that's why I'm saying you're not getting with the times, bro. Because yeah, I don't true. go online on Insta and love boxing and get swarmed with Frank Warren promotions. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. Eddie Hearn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt yeah, yeah. Bro, look at Matt Trim's channel, fam. They yeah. got everything on there. They're sitting down with Wiley. To f- yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank yeah. Warren is still sitting at his desk doing the same thing he was doing when Frank Bruno was scrapping. Yeah. So I'm just looking, I'm thinking, if you don't evolve with the times, Listen. you will get left behind. Look at Nokia. Nokia, Frank, Nokia did nothing wrong. Nokia did nothing wrong. It's true. They just didn't evolve and now nobody messes with them. Frank, fam. you already know what to do. Call us, fam. Exactly. You gotta call us. Real talk. <laughs> you want sauce? Right now. You, you, he should have paid for that information. Oh, bro, I gave him the sauce. I gave him the jewels, bro. Call us. Listen, whoever's backing you, fam, listen, take that and make that work, fam. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we're talking about. <laughs> All right, cool. So I'm going to be giving out posters. <laughs> I'm listening at the traffic like disappointed. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm like, that's at the honest, my dog. Yeah, you know I mean, got my light on the wall. <laughs> now, I mean, promote the thing better than this. What is that? On the wall. Or... What's that is, I'm going to drive home today. <laughs> I see Daniel Dubois on the wall. <laughs> you know what I mean? The Dubois see, on the not wall. even on the digital one, drive. When's the last time you went to an event that you saw on the wall? I thought, <laughs> oh, that's where I got to be. Stop the car. The light is green when you're there taking notes. <laughs> Beyonce's going to be there. You know, because there's a picture of Beyonce for no reason. Those raves. When you go to the rave, thinking that the girl's going to be there. Beyonce's going to be there. Beyonce got, and Usher, fam. My got Fat Joe. But like... <laughs> Fat Joe. Hey. Fat Joe's going to be at the fight. <laughs> Leave me. Nah, leaning back in the fight is not still. Listen, <laughs> if you don't get to 2020, bro, you will not exist in three years' time, Frank. Eddie Hearn will take all your fighters, or Al Heyman will take some as well. Hey, that was a great segment. <laughs> Listen, so back into the comment section, we got Jeremiah Victor here. Yeah? He said, Kel Brook is finished. He missed his time. Crawford will take his manhood. That's very disrespectful. Agreed, Agreed 100%. That's very disrespectful. I feel like I said that as well. Um, yeah, someone said, um, Doofus Creations, mad name, but it's cool. Um, keep, this, <laughs> keep the same energy. I feel like that don't person's mad talented KG. as well. Huh? I don't even know what this person does, but I feel like with a name like that, you yeah, know they're Yeah, because you, know you cuss yourself, but you're creating, so yeah. it's not still. Um, what do you call it? Andrew Slim, listen, 
I'm so put off with this whole Dubois versus Joe Joyce media run. <laughs> them Bro. guys have the most boring dialogues ever. <laughs> Listen, you yeah. might not write about them being <laughs> a less cerebral AJ copies. Let me show Shout you. out to you. Let me show you this, yeah? Yeah. I was chatting to um, Bonkers the other day, right? Go on, talk to and me. he sent me this post that said, these men, are, <laughs> these men <laughs> they've resorted to writing quotes that they probably never said. There's a poster here of Dubois' face and he goes, Dubois dismisses Joyce's amateur career and it's a picture of his face and he goes, Joe Joyce likes to talk about his amateur career but let's be honest he was a grown man beating up kids he was a 30 year old man in the Olympics his opponents were all in their 20s and he's like why are they putting it down he goes you know we never said that and I said to him I said try and imagine Dubois saying any of this it'd take like 15 minutes no 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 hey guess who's in the comment section shout out Spencer Fiorin you know he came back. He said, great show this week. Keep it up, gents. Shout out to you, bro. Bop, bop. All right, cool. Um, well, hey, I'm going to do the last one. It's, on. it's, a, it's a shout out to us still, so I'm, I'm just going to say it anyway. This is the best boxing podcast out there. Miles ahead. Nerd alert. Bop, bop to yourself. Salute, bro. Salute Appreciate yourself. That. And everyone, listen, what we'll try and do, in the, like, each week, we'll come into the comment section. We'll, if there's something that tickles our fancy and stuff, we'll read it. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So make sure you get in there and, like, do your thing in it. Um, let's get back into it, bro. Come. So um, Dylan's been talking. Dylan, yeah. Dylan White's been talking, man. And mm. I like the talk. Mm -hmm. But um, he's, I think, I believe it's, it's pretty much set in stone. He'll be fighting Povetkin. But, yeah, um, it's looking like it. Yeah, he'd be fine, Povetkin. But what I was interested in is Dillian, you know, because he really was chasing Ruiz. He was really chasing Ruiz. Yeah, I, I don't think Ruiz wants that type of fight right But Ruiz now. called him a coward, which yeah, was incredible. I, I know, but you know when someone is ones, it's like, you can say anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? I could literally say, oh, KSI's okay, running from me. He you is. Know, you know what I mean? And he is. Like, yeah, uh, but what I'm saying is, what I mean is, I can just say that. But he's running from me. I know, and I, I know. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I can just say that and it, yeah, it might shoot. not be true. I can say anyone's running. So that's why I'm just like, I don't think Ruiz wanted that fight in the first mm. place. If I'm a Ruiz, I've just come off a defeat with, from AJ, yeah? I don't really want to rush back into Dillian White. Mm -hmm. you got to understand, Dillian White right now is in such an awkward place because it's like, you're just a hard fight and it just seems like it might not be worth how hard it's going to be. Yeah. And that's really the way. And it'll just hurt me. It'll hurt me a lot hurt if me I... Loads. It'll hurt me a lot. 12 rounds of it as well. It's like... It, I'm it, talking about what it are, does to my profile if I fight him and then I well, lose. This is it. People are willing to go through that for AJ because they know they're going to get peas, mm -hmm. wilder. They're going to, you know what I mean? It's going to be a substantial. But for Dillian White, it's like, oh, this is going to be long. Mm. <laughs> and I think that's just how people feel about him. Yeah. So the Pavekin fight, um, it'll be it's still, it's still, it's still, a, well, no, Pavekin's not the same. Pavekin's be best honest. years are just It's so not the behind. same. It's not the same, I think. And I'm actually He's, kind of getting bored of Povetkin. Povetkin like, shows him. up for these fights and just, just loses them. Like. Yeah. So it's like... He's still like a high-grade... He's a high-grade B fighter. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's yeah. gonna give you a competitive fight, but there's no real chance of him winning. Yeah. But at the same time, if you treat him like a dickhead, he'll make you pay for it. But he ain't beating none of these guys. It's such a shame. So that, that And that's why this Joe Joyce, the bar fight, is really important because that winner should really... Because Dylan has to stay busy somehow. That's mm. the perfect. That's the perfect next opponent. Yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean? Or I wouldn't mind seeing Dylan versus Usyk. Yeah, Usyk isn't gonna go for that. Not before he fights a big money fight. That's why I said, you know, see yeah. why I'm saying that. Yeah, Joe yeah, Joyce, yeah, yeah. Dubois. Let's go next. Let's it's see true. that because even that should be more exciting. You might even get like a lot of fight talk from them, man. Mm. If they'll sit next to someone like Dillian, mm. do you know what I mean? It's like two. That'll be a big fight. Usyk and Dillian White. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. I would like to see that. Like that, That'd be that, a special one. What do you think? Who'd win that? I'm going with Dillian on, on uh, yeah. against against most men, except you know what I mean the top three is the only ones where it's not like a like an easy But decision. Usyk is untried, untested, unlike you still No, not he's honest. not. He actually has had a heavyweight fight, remember? He fought the Don at heavyweight and he got touched up by a guy who looked basic. So I'm looking at him thinking, all right, well, yeah, but There's I'm talking. A lot of people that's gonna be I upset. feel like you know when you get. And I said I keep this the point I was making with Tyson Fury. When you start to walk around that that weight now, this is you. I've come up from I come up from cruiser, and now I'm comfortable here. Like this is me off season, on season. This is the weight I carry now. I just don't think he's big enough to be honest with you. Really? Because I mean, when Holyfield came up, people said the same kind of things about yeah. him as well. But Holyfield, Holyfield grew as well mm. at the heavyweight. So, but then we saw him fight people like Riddick Bowe. And he gave them scraps. 
you yeah. know what I mean? Like he lost, I think the first fight, won the second one, and he lost the third one. Yeah. But the fact he was able to hang with Riddick Bowe, it was just like, you belong here. And, yeah. uh, and as time went on, he just got more and more solid. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like... So you think that if Usyk puts on a bit more size... Yeah, but to carry it well as well. And also, the, the, uh, and one of the differences is that Holyfield had power that yeah. got carried. Yeah. Whereas Usyk doesn't have power even to carry, like okay. even at Cruiserweight. So he didn't exactly come up with a banger and we've seen if they can take it. David Hay came up with a banger. Like we knew him to mm. be a banger. So yeah. with Usyk, I'm just looking, I'm thinking... If your plan is to come up here and just outbox heavyweights, good luck, man. Because we <laughs> saw luck. Tyson Fury outbox Wada and nearly, you know what I mean? Nearly got put to sleep. <laughs> so you're the smaller. in his foot though, fam. But he's smaller than Fury. Yeah. So you can't be small with yeah. that game plan. Yeah. So that's why I look, I'm like, nah, I didn't want to eat you, fam. Yeah. Oh, well, at the end of the day. She's always due to fight him as well. They're going to announce that. It was supposed to be Who? in March, which is Usyk. But because Usyk apparently has an injury, I think he has some type of, some injury that he's nursing. And um, they're basically saying that that's what's delaying the announcement of the fight. Wicked. Mm. Um, Jules, yeah. I know it's random, yeah, but could you get the charger? In the, it's in the small room. Yeah, yeah. yeah wicked. So, yeah. Cool. So that's, um, what that's what they're saying is the hold up for that announcement, but it'll be interesting to see how that, how that looks. So let's, let's keep it moving anyway, man. Mm. Our boy, we saw him, Vegas. Um, certain man was like, I'm not oh, snitching, but plug. certain man was like looking at man's missus and that. Do you know what I mean? But I'm not snitching. That's mad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. A... No, I'm playing. No one's looking at Caden that Plus' missus. That is a mad segue. <laughs> no, I just wanted to do that still. I'm playing. No one's looking at his missus. She's pretty pretty, though. So that was you that was looking at her missus. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. But anyway, um, yeah, Caleb Plant, man. Um, great guy. Very impressive. Very course. great guy. Um, yeah, it was blessed, man. We got a little we interviewed. We yeah, him and he said well. that he'll come and show love. He yeah, said if he, yeah. when he comes to the UK, he'll come and sit down with us, which I mm. thought was dope. Mm. But I just got a good vibe from Caleb. Same. You know, you know, you just chat to someone that's genuine. He's yeah, real, like you know what I mean. So, so it's really nice to see him. You know, it's really nice to see him in in the position that he's in. Mm. Yeah, you can hold it. Um, it's really nice to see him in the position that he's in. Do you mm. see what I'm saying? But he's so he's now um, he's still undefeated. Yeah, which yeah. is good. He fought um a German man, um Finding Boots. I can't even say his name properly. That's the best I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna lie. Do you know? Finding Boots. <laughs> no, it's it fine. It's nuts. I don't know his name, so I'm not gonna. It's it's nuts. It's yeah. one of those. Well, I, saw, it's, I saw the fight. There's bare letters in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's bare letters in there. And anyway, cool. Let's get. It to was it. a good performance. I mean, the it's guy a was a solid solid opponent as well. Jamie, yeah. but he. he he took care of business. Nice home, and he's fighting at home. He's in Tennessee. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? And yeah. Which was he fought in the front of the crowd, and he did not let them down at all. Do you know he put he does put on a show. There was a moment when you see them blowing kisses at each other. They blew, bro. Oh, it's man. mad. They he's like he backed him up onto the ropes. It's combinations, combinations, and then Kato was like, you know when you keep it tucked. And he came back. He's like, and just blew him a kiss. Yeah. So the other guy was like, obviously it's close to Valentine's Day, isn't it? Other guy blew me kiss back. <laughs> <laughs> other guy blew me kiss back at Kayla for no, 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 no. Now I'm gonna punch up. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and the the knockdown, not the, um, the stoppage came the soon stoppage after, yeah, yeah. Came straight after. Because yeah. it was um stoppage in the tenth. Mm -hmm. I was watching that, yeah. I like Caleb's style, man. Yeah. Very busy. I he's like very, him. very busy. And 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 the accuracy, I wanna say. Mm. He, he's a he's an accurate fighter, throws punches and they they land. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Which yeah. I like and it I like, he's very good with uppercut. Everything's purposeful. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's what I like to see. This is what I'm saying. Bang. It just flows. It's bang, 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 bang. It's like I like the attitude shots. as well. Yeah. Caleb's do you know what it is, yeah? You know when you meet like you ever meet them white people yeah that are like low key black? <laughs> <laughs> Kayla's like the the white the, wait the he's the he said the M whitest we, black boy said, I know you know like we said Eminem no like this you just create them even the shape up bro <laughs> he's got the John B fam <laughs> you know what I'm saying he's got the John, the John B, B shape boxing. Up. I'm telling you he's the John B fam but anyway Caleb <laughs> like even so his his talk when I watch him like I'm paying more attention to him now because each win each win I'm like. Yeah, let me let me keep looking at this guy. But then he's so he's 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 box office. Yeah, is, yeah, what, yeah. is what I'm trying to say. Like even down to the weigh in and stuff, he'll be looking in your face saying you ain't shit. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, he's, he'll tell yeah, you he's big time. You I are think nothing. I think all he really needs is that high profile fight. 
And then we're going to, Yami will see him on the world stage. There and we'll you go. Like, okay, because he's already a champ. There you go. So this is why it's like, it's mad that we're talking about this about a champ. Like, you know, he needs to get on the world stage. But yeah. that's just the way boxing is. But once he gets that big time opponent, yeah. then we'll see what go on. Because I think he's, I think he's real. When, he, when we interviewed him and we're talking about, oh, there's um, Chris Eubank, um, Chris Junior. Eubank Jr. Yeah. He goes, yeah, if he eats his Wheaties. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, that's, he said, yeah. I said, if he eats Eubank his Wheaties. in the room. Is that the point? He goes, yeah, you know, if he eats his Wheaties, you know, you can come up to 168. <laughs> Like, and at that point, Junior just walked past us, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He could have... He, sh- he Caleb did it in a way that he might have been an issue. Yeah. <laughs> but Chris Evax, Chris Evax, Junior was like, I need the Wheaties. Have. <laughs> I'm trying to go down in weight because I'm trying to knock man out. I'm trying to... Because that's what you said. You, the point that you made is he's gone down in weight to actually start knocking man out. Yeah, I think, I think that might be some of the logic to do yeah. with the, the going down because it's like, I've been tangling with 168 guys. Yeah. Maybe once I go down to 160 now... Yeah. I should be able to handle more and da da da. There so you go. maybe it might be that experiment, or maybe just got tired of dealing with bigger guys because that must just get <laughs> <It's> long. <laughs> it must get long. But yeah, so back to Caleb Plant though, man. I started thinking, who could he fight next? Do you know what I mean? And then, um, oh no, actually not that. There was after the fight, Canelo has sent, um, they sent a, a request. The request. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought that straight in the group. I saw that. I was like, oh, spice. Caleb Plant yeah. came back and was just like, nah. He goes, I'm not about to take this fight at, mm. you know, for, for me. Yeah. I've just fought. I mean, I'm going to have like two weeks off and then get straight back into camp. Yeah. You're not going to catch I me. hard for this. Yeah. You're not going to catch me exhausted and overworked. Let's, you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to. He think- said, go and punch up Callum Smith yeah. and Billy Joe Saunders. And unify. You, <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm going to handle my work over here. I can't remember who he said he's going to fight. And he said, then we'll do the unification fight. Mm. But it's the way he dismissed Callum Smith and Billy Joe Saunders, yeah. Like they're just nobody's in the It equation. made me uncomfortable. No, it didn't make me uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable. What do you mean, bro? We're in the UK, fam. I hear that. You Don't let what? Caleb talk like this. Do you know why it didn't make me uncomfortable? Go on. Because these men are sitting on offers from Canelo to fight. <sighs> and, and they've are actually... Are we talking now? Yeah, they've, they're sitting on offers to the point where Canelo's team are saying, you have until Monday to accept these offers. Because right now, we're going to have to move on to find another opponent. All right, all right. So when I know these conversations are happening, I'm thinking to myself, maybe you man ain't real. Welcome because, to the Canelo ledge, fam. How because, you doing? No, nah, I hear that. Yeah? You're welcome, cuz. I hear that. I the trainer stopped for you still, so you jumping on board, fam. I'm just, I'm going to talk until just the door's closing and we move on again. <laughs> welcome to this Canelo. I don't live on. here. I don't live here. <laughs> this is a great house. place, fam. You're welcome, fam. Okay, you've cleaned up. No, this go on, okay. go on. Carry on. Bad. Carry on talking about the hero. No, but I'm looking at, I'm thinking to myself, you know what? Billy Joe Saunders and Callum Smith, you've been calling, you've been calling about the Canelo Everyone fight for a while. Has. Yeah. And now he's here. Yep. You're on the table having a conversation. I feel like you can't let this fight go for any reason. I don't mm. care about the peas. Because mm. you beat Canelo. Oh, my days. The world is your oyster. The world is your oyster. So and I'm looking at him. beat him. There's no excuse that I'm interested in that can come away from Kellen Smith and Billy Joe. going to Canelo. win because there's only one guy, fam. There's only one guy and his name is Canelo, fam. Has the whole of Mexico on his back. Hola. No, he said, no, it didn't. Caleb's so, saying just, that he's going to gonna punch just, up just, just Billy to, Joe just Saunders and Callum Smith. Just because that was the nuts. Hurt. Rube just said, why did the statement hurt you that much? What? No, just no, because they're UK, man. And he's saying raw, like, the way he just dismissed them. He dismissed them, man. Listen, them, yeah. like, it's a quick fight. Like, I'm about- I'll handle that work quickly. No, it's the same as you saying you're not going to win. There's only one man. No, but you've been told. I already know that Canelo's winning. I'm not even in, I'm not like disillusioned and stuff, but you know when you hear like an accent, yeah? Thing it's is, like, yeah. just imagine, if you, yeah, just imagine, I can cuss my family all day. Come and say something about my family. It's like, oh, 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 oh. Do you know what I mean? Because I it's not that. fair. I so right that. now, but I'm only I just back. heard some, a man from Tennessee in Caleb Plant say, he said, raw, just handle Billy Joe. These are our heroes, you know. Nah, Billy heroes. Joe and Kellum. They're my heroes, bro. No, but I'm, I'm a back. Bro, these no, lot no. got the, I'm a back. The, Go I'm going to back any fighter that yeah. actually wants to fight. If you believe in it, I'm going to believe in you as well. If mm. I, especially if I see that I believe you can anyway. Yeah. But when I'm looking, I'm thinking to myself, you man are sitting there with the papers and you're letting this thing fall by up through, through the fingers. I'm like, maybe you don't want it then. Because no I'm looking at it and thinking, let's source. be real. I, I've, I, for a long time, I said Billy Joe Saunders, I think he could mix up. But I've also said recently, I don't know if the recent version of this Billy Welcome Joe the train, can keep up with Canelo. Yeah, him at 168, didn't look fantastic in the 168 debut. So yeah. I'm looking at the last fight, I'm like, I don't even know if I see the magic that I used to see in Billy Joe Saunders. 
Maybe he'll pull it out for the big fight. Who knows? But at this point, I'm not as convinced. So now I'm looking at thinking, maybe you men don't think so. This so is that it. means you're trying to cash out by all getting the best possible deal because yep. this is the end of the road. So I'm looking at I'm thinking, Gee, who knows now? As I said, welcome to the train, carriage F, seat 36. <laughs> Window? Window. <laughs> That's you. We got Wi-Fi. We got all fam. <laughs> Listen, Canelo is the truth and i'm glad that you've been enlightened i'm glad that you've woken up even the people that listen to this podcast and callum but, smith yeah yeah needs to be careful that we don't just forget about him because i'm not seeing enough i'm not seeing enough no callum should fight really? callum should call out um caleb what callum don't should talk do? about me like that what i think callum should do yeah is fight billy joe saunders they're not doing that i know it's not but, no but the reason why i say that is because i think well, if they both turn down this fight you, no what i mean is i think yeah, I think they should. If they're gonna turn it down and faff about, fight each other. Oh, f- fantastic! To get the UK fan base and fantastic. your profiles up, because Billy Joe Saunders has a fan base. If yeah. he goes to fight Canelo, a massive one. The UK are going over there as well. Yeah, yeah. Tyson Fury's gonna. We walk have him. to go. Tyson That's Fury right. will walk we into the to ring. Go. We you have know, to go. Fury will walk into the ring. It'll be a big as champion. So, what? As you said Tyson Fury will walk into the ring. I said he'll walk, champion. He walk Billy Joe Saunders into the ring. You're right. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, Callum Smith needs. He still has building to do, profile wise. So if you're passing this fight, because I don't think Callum Smith is the draw. Like mm. people don't go mad for Callum Smith. Boxing fans know Callum Smith, but like the casuals, yeah, the we ca- ain't, he ain't, he ain't, no he ain't crossed over to the Callum casuals. Smith. So I'm like, yeah, Callum yeah. Smith, you can't us, actually man. afford to be this quiet. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? Because like, mm. there's more to be done. For that's you. why I wanted to fight Caleb. That's why I find it. Yeah, that's why I'm like, you can't. I want him. Dilly Dally with the contract. I'm like, nah, big man. Undilly Dally, get in the ring and scrap, bro. <laughs> <I> said, <"Undilly> <laughs> Dally. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really want. Caleb and Callum to fight because how amazing would that fight be? It yeah. would be fantastic. I don't, I, the reason why I don't think it'd be that big is because Caleb isn't exactly the the big draw in the no, states. No, it's just for us. It's for a fight for the fans. Yeah, that's it's what, for a fight for like that's uh, what I'm saying. Yeah, it's exactly. not for and like. I, and I think these men have to start moving a bit more strategically. Okay. To make these fights bigger. So let's say, for example, yeah, yep. Callum Smith didn't mess around and he fought Canelo. Okay. Yeah. Billy Joe Saunders fought Caleb Plant. Right. That's two big profile fights. Yes. And then after that, the winners. That's perfect, actually. That would in be that an way. Amazing, in that way. Yeah. Wait, say, say, say that. So Callum Smith fights Canelo. And Caleb oh, and Billy Canelo, Joe. Bam. Yeah. Beats that's him. That's right. It's so then Caleb and Billy Joe fight. Yeah. Whoever wins out of those two, fight Who Canelo. Go on. Caleb and Billy Joe. Today, now, this, yeah. today, I'm going with Caleb. Really? Yeah. Just like that. Just because I just I don't know where Billy Joe is at on the big on the big night. That's really how I feel. Because I'm like, I used to really feel like I could trust him. Now I, I'm not really like. If Billy Joe's in there with Canelo, I think we'll see a good version of Billy Joe. Whereas now I'm just like, you, I feel like he can fumble the bag with one of these opponents. Nah, I think, obviously, because of how I talk about Canelo, yeah, everyone must think that I disrespect Billy Joe Saunders. I don't at all. I just think Canelo's just great, yeah? I do believe that Can- um, Billy Joe Saunders has got what it takes to beat Caleb. I think he's got what it takes. But I, I think, think he does. Caleb, like, right, like today, coming off of what he's coming off, I think he's... I think he has the minerals to do it. I think he's got the mental side of it. I, f- I just think he's more complete right now. I'd love to see them. Just... That'd be a great fight. Oh, man. That'd be a great fight. Listen, and I say that as, a, as someone who likes Billy Joe oh, Saunders. Oh, man. No, I, I'm telling you, I think Billy Joe Saunders would win that fight, but it'd be the most exciting fight. It'll be even more, it'll be even more exciting than the, Canelo the versus talk. Callum. The trash talk. Oh, my gosh. Because Billy Joe Saunders can really talk. The, he can talk some nonsense, boy. Bro, it's, that's what I'm saying. So... It, I'll be fantastic. What do you think about Billy Joe and Eubank Jr. if they ever rematch? What? If, who do you think t- who do you think's gonna take it? Did you hear what I called him? <laughs> Three pots ago. <laughs> do you know that would be the biggest upset in vehicle history? <laughs> <laughs> vehicle history, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Come on, don't be silly. <laughs> Oh no, and you know what? Do you know what? Cool history. <laughs> you know when it's like it's like um, what, it's like a small microphone, <laughs> or a, a, a micro when the top comes off. Blood. <laughs> <laughs> With all the man them in it. <laughs> a micro, a convertible micro. <laughs> with sport minute. wheels because you know Michael always had the mandem in it that's funny it was always packed no I don't the killer is I've just given up on um, I'm, I've like, given up on I've given up I don't care anymore I'm done I'm done it's it's one of, I have I don't care until until I see something as today I've given up 
Fair enough, man. Gee, I, do you know what's so... And I, now, I've been seeing... Ever since that Chrysler episode, yeah? You've seen Matt Chrysler's. I've seen Matt Chrysler's. <laughs> I've seen the state Chrysler. I've seen the... I've seen the... the, the someone, crossfire. Bro, I've seen... Since you said that, yeah, there's someone on the page. I'm not even going to say who they are because yeah. anonymity is key. <laughs> they forward You Bet Junior's training video all the time with the same comp- caption. Chrysler. <laughs> bro, there's like, there's like nine <laughs> messages. No, nah, it's so mad. Here. So it, it's, it's crazy <laughs> until... Un- I'm not gonna come back. And mm. the, the funny thing is, and he did it again, even in that fight. Yeah, Eubanks gets busy late. Which which one are you talking about? Billy Joe. Oh, the Billy, Billy Joe Joe's, fight. Yeah. Um, I think that was a deliberate one though, because at that point he'd never been twelve rounds, so he didn't know he could go twelve rounds. To be fair to him, mm. so he waited till like five or six to really start getting into gear, because he's like, at least I'll know I'll be able to last. Yeah. And you can see that for for as limited as as Eubank Junior is in some senses. Yeah. He was far like worse in that fight yeah. so he was going off of sh- just scrapping basically mm. and I think he's a little bit more uniformed in what he does nowadays compared to then mm. but I don't I just don't see it being I just think fight. that was a pivot all night and what would have happened had he won he has the Billy Joe career do you know what I'm saying had he won that fight um, no, I, I you st- don't think so I still think even if he won I just okay this is gonna sound I don't wanna sound too harsh cause I don't really like the, the Eubank Jr. narrative that you created but like he he would have got he would have fell he would have tripped up yeah. after that point like okay. the, the 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 George Groves fight would have still happened yeah he, the 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 shortcomings would have still existed because I think overall the issue with Eubank Junior is the boxing IQ isn't that great mm. and I think somewhere along the the journey he skipped a process a key part of the process yeah and I think what happened was when he stayed at British level he stayed there too long. Because mm. he was really fighting British level fighters for a long time, and it was just mm. like, relax with this man. Like it, even when he it's fought, enough. he fought the Nick Blackwell, I believe that's his name, and that's yeah, one yeah, that he, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, he hospitalized oh. him, yeah. and that was one of the ones where you're looking, thinking you can't stay at this level. You're gonna mm. hurt someone because yeah. you, you clearly should be moving on. And I think he stayed too long, and then the steps after that, it was like there's a lot of lessons you didn't learn. Yeah, with certain types of opponents, especially with not having a proper trainer. So then when you fought George Groves. It looked amateurish. Yeah, and I don't, you know, they've got the new trainer finish. now. Yeah, so he, he beat the girl. He beat the girl, and that was a good scrap. The girl was past it, to be fair. Yeah. So since that, we've not really seen Eubank Junior look like a complete product yet. Mm. And I think where we know him to be young, right? We still kind of have this idea of potential in our heads. Yeah, but it's like he's thirty now, so potential and these type of conversations can't really be happening still. Yeah, we've got to be seeing you come into your own. And I don't know. He maybe he might find it in the twilight stage of his career, but I just think never. Maybe not. Cool. <laughs> yeah, potential after a while is not potential, bro. But, it's just you know what I mean. As a Eubank senior fan, I would like to see him get some success and at least win a world title before it's all said and done. It's mad still. <laughs> you know, I'm so disinterested. Like, it's, it's nuts. It's nuts. The way you said it's mad still. <laughs> He's like, mm. Mm, okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, Devin, Mr. Haney himself. Devin Haney. Oh, Devin okay, Haney. so let's let's start with Ryan Garcia. Yeah. Because Ryan Garcia this weekend, wo- oh, what a knockout. Yes. Bro, that left hook looked like it came out of nowhere. No wind up on it, just whap, snap. Yeah. Done like he got sniped from the top of the roof. Bro. It was like, mad. He looks... Like, such a nice person, yeah. Ryan Garcia. It don't make no sense. He looks like a YouTuber, isn't he it? He just looks like a, 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 a standard YouTuber. Hey, but guys. He Bro, this guy is a Like, me- a subscribe, share. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, he, but he will knock you out. Like, it's, are you so are you aboard the Ryan Garcia train? Or is it happening yet? yet? To be honest, like, I'm past that stage where I get, like, hype, the hype for any new guys is coming up. Yeah. I need to see something spectacular before I'm like, oh, he's the truth. No, I'm you gotta at know yourself to the mask early, man. Just be it's, it's more fun that way. Nah. Because you're emotionally invested. Do you know what it is, yeah? After you commit to and invest in certain boxers' careers, yeah. and things happen, after a while you lose the ability to do that again. Mm. Like it took a long time for me to become a, a AJ fan. Yeah. Yeah. When it happened, I'm here now. Okay, yeah. see, I'm so new. I was a David Hay fan before that. There you go. And it was the AJ. And yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm comfortably on the AJ bus. Yeah. So I'm like, I can't just be out here all willy-nilly just doing fan base. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta yeah, be yeah. like, show me something amazing. Let oh, me no, see so it. I just, I, but if like, I know you, yeah. it's, it's, I'm, I'm locked in. I'm supporting from there. G, 
I just need to see two videos, two interviews of you talking about your life and the struggles that you've gone through. And you're in. A couple of knockouts, I'm in. Bruv. Two videos about your, two interviews and a knockout completion, I'm in. You're, you know who I was supporting from day? Talk is, to me. Um, Ahara Davis. Yeah. Anthony Yard. Yeah. Because then I used to train to you. I had them online and I was watching. So I've, I've watched the journeys. So now I'm like, nah, nah, nah. These are the guys. I'm rooting for these men. I can't even say that. I'm not allowed to talk about my man for five fights. I got, so I'm going to leave that one out. But I don't see so Are you regretting him. all of the... Are you regretting your picks or are you happy? With no. The, oh, still, Yeah. There's no, bro, the guy has nothing to be ashamed of for me to... There's nothing to be ashamed of. Okay, cool. Wicked. Dickhead. Four more fights. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. But Ahara Davis still, real, no. He's a cool guy. Like, I just think he's a... Like, I, I, I like his energy in boxing. I think uh-huh. you need guys like that. Well, that was one of his phrases oh, no, that amazing. he used to be saying. You need boxing needs guys like Oh, we like need me. him. Yeah, so we need him. I like his character. I like what he, he brings to the sport of boxing. Fair enough, you know, he's had some shortcomings with the guys in yeah. his world and he's lost some side. But it's like, you know what? Boxers lose. Yeah, boxers lose sometimes, so... Wicked. I'm well, so um, so obviously Devin Haney's jumped in a ring mm. after Garcia's, um, after Ryan Garcia's you know done his thing. I think it's nuts here. Go is on. that they both walked in with a WBC belt on it's their arm. Mad. I was like, get rid of these belts, man. <laughs> these men are just like, yo, I'm number one. No, I'm not. It's like, shut, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> you got the silver intercontinental this and he, my man, it's like, nah, settle down, bro. Yeah, yeah, Devin yeah. Haney got his belt by email, fam. That man said, that man said, you're going to be the champ because Lomachenko's getting the, the, the diamond or whatever it is. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's stop this. Let's stop this right now. Let's, yeah. let's make, make man fight for the thing. And, um, and don't forget also in this conversation is Tank. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, oh, sugar. Trevante Davis. Sorry, yeah. just for the, for the people like, that don't know. I feel like Ryan Garcia still has to prove himself at that level, right? Yeah. Apparently he's going to fight Jorge Linares. Yes. That's a good, good fight. That's a good measuring stick. Yeah. I think Lonares might have seen better days. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I saw him, I think he, he got knocked out in one of his last couple of fights. So we'll, we'll see what that looks like. But that's a great test. It's like yeah. Usyk and Chisora. It's one yeah. of those good measuring stick fights. So we'll see if Ryan Garcia is the I, truth I, in I that. I just want him to just fight. Let's, let's not even do the Jorge Lonares. No, no, no. you got to do it. you got to really? do it. Because he's still young, so he's still got to climb the, yeah. the staircase. But, I think but why Devin would Haney... Devin Haney jump in a ring then? Because when once you do that, it's almost this be, is coming now. It'll be a money soon. fight. It'll be a money fight. Okay, so you yeah. just you think they're just trying to bubble it for what, like a year? Yeah, I think they both know it won't be their next fight. Okay, yeah, I mean, but, but let's let's talk it up and mm. let's get it going. But I think Devin Haney fighting uh, Javante Davis would be sick. It would be fantastic because they both have a Floyd link. This is it, and we've I saw a picture of Devin Haney when he was a little you. With Floyd. Floyd. Oh, bruv. And it was the, it was like, I don't know if it was before it was, Floyd Money with Floyd. No, became, Floyd, no, Floyd was, was he Floyd, Floyd Money? Floyd was still Floyd. Yeah, Floyd, that might have been when he was fighting Marquez. Yeah. It was that era. So yeah. Devin Haney was just a little boy. I couldn't believe it. And he's just it. there smiling with Floyd. And That's that, crazy. And I saw him, I think he was driving around with Floyd not yeah, like, yeah, a yeah. while ago. So could you imagine, yeah? He fights Javonta Davis, beats Tank, and then Floyd's just like, <laughs> he's the new guy. <laughs> Devin Haney, <laughs> I'm rolling with him, little bro. Because <laughs> he, <laughs> bruv. Remember when Bron used to be the man? He used to be everywhere with Floyd. You know, that's my mm. little bro. That's my little bro. He started mm. losing. <laughs> Tank. <laughs> <laughs> that's why Bron has gone mad. He's got, he's got rejection, abandonment issues. <laughs> he's dealing with a lot, fam. Even, whoa. You just found the link just there, bro. You just did it. What? Just like that. You didn't even realise you went there. So, obviously, he's seen that picture. Yeah. And probably Bron has seen it earlier. Because Brona asked to fight Devin Haney. He said he'll come down in yeah, weight. He wants to beat him up, fam. He's so just... there's a link. Trust me. It's like, how dare it's you? Floyd's descendants. <laughs> Floyd's disciples, man. How dare man. you step into the place where I'm fam. meant to be? So exactly. if I punch you up, do I now become the... <laughs> he wants to be way. little bro again. <laughs> they all want to be little bro. No, how long can you be little bro for, fam? For the bro, these men don't care. They want to be Floyd's little bro. They, they, no, are, but they are dying a, to be back no, under the it, armpit for No, but... <laughs> no. <laughs> it gets to a stage where you can't be little bro no more, though. No, not for these men. I'm a big man. Not for these men. Adrian Broner has been going mad ever since he stopped being little bro. <laughs> you don't know, remember the timeline? Where before Adrian Broner took any losses, Adrian Broner leak. was everywhere. There's I'm the leak. next Floyd. I'm the new Floyd. You know, Floyd did his thing. I'm up next. Da, 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 da. Okay, Madonna, sell down. <laughs> now, he just can't stop spending money on strippers. There's a link, you know. You did that. Now you, you just walked into that. Fam. That's what I'm saying. And then we've got Tank. Tank is trying to maintain it by fighting as little as possible. 
if I can stay here for as long as humanly possible by doing the least work, everything should be okay in the end. And David Haney's nah. coming up fast in the fast lane. He's like, yo, let's get it cracking. And that's why everyone is, that's got, he's got the target on his back. That's right. So now that, that picture, I'm showing you, that picture was in a group chat. Oh, of course. Oh, that man sent it. That man hit the group. That man sent it to Tank. <laughs> Tank was like, what? Oh, I can't wait to find Santa Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a trilogy. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you that. Can you imagine? So, can you imagine Floyd made it an official tournament? <laughs> For little bro. Adrian Broner, Javonna Davis, and Devin Haney. <laughs> the little bro. The little bro title. WBC little bro. WBC will make a break. WBC. WBC. <laughs> a little bro belt. The, the WBC LB. WBC LB title. And it's just Floyd's face on the middle with a, with a vacant space by his armpit. Hey, WBC <laughs> are so shameless. Don't make that the belt. belt. The belt isn't even a belt. The belt is actually just Floyd and his arm out. <laughs> you just put the belt off your shoulder. <laughs> WBC lightweight little brother of the world. Brotherly <laughs> boxing. <laughs> Brotherly boxing federations. Oh my days. These men want the love of Floyd, fam. For the love of Floyd. <laughs> For the love of Floyd. <laughs> For the love of Floyd. <laughs> oh, the world. He just let Floyd be the ref. And you'd have to fight by doghouse rules. Can you remember me with the documentaries? The man would just make them scrap. No round. There was no rounds. Literally just half an hour of scrapping. <laughs> Fucking the little brother belt is so shit though. <laughs> For the love of Floyd. <laughs> right. <laughs> that was good. Um, um, we got some fantasy fights yeah, let's before do it, we man. go. We got some fantasy fights before we go, but I just want to talk about something quickly because go for it, go for it. Um, I just did it. I just, you know, when you're bored and stuff, I thought, you know, let me kind of watch some old school stuff. So I went into the archives and I watched Bernard Hopkins versus Roy Jones Jr. Mm. Yeah. I went and watched that, yeah. What, People, what, what both of them? I watched both of them. Oh, Had okay. to. Yeah, 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 <laughs> People, yeah. listen, when you got, when you got, a chance. Just do it. Go into the archives. And I like the fact when we tell people to do it, there's always someone that goes in the comments is like, I thought that was that was sick. You yeah, are right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is it's like we know there's some fans who kind of jumped on the boxing journey in recent years. Me? Don't ever don't be ashamed of that either. Yep. Go and watch those old fights when you get some time. Trust yep. me, there's some classics in the There's tuck. some cla- and for me, I I enjoy it because I'm coming into something that I've never seen before. So obviously you got to watch these things. Mm. I came in, I'm new to this to thing. Be fair, I didn't get to watch them at the time. Yeah. I did that just I've just done You've it done before. That. There yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. So I, I worked in a call center, yeah, and I literally yeah. didn't do no work. I just stayed there watching old boxing videos. Can all you day imagine? In, day it out. was trading yeah. you for this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's mad. So um yeah, so I watched the I watched the fight, yeah. And obviously they had this whole um, lead up of, you know, where they've come from and their styles and stuff. And I'm starting to not believe this now. They said that Roy Jones, Roy Jones Jr.'s hand was broken in that fight and he's fighting, like he's using the left a lot. But then I saw him throwing mad rights. But you know what it is? Boxers break their hand a lot. Yeah. So I think it's one of those, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, when you've, when I, when I used to play basketball, I sprayed my ankle loads. Yeah. And it got to a point where it's like, I'd feel it happen in, in, like, in the match, but then I'd be like, I can play Still to the end it. of this match. Yeah. Okay. And I know I'm going to be all right. Okay. But then after, I'll just let it heal. So I think it, it is like that for them. Oh, uh, okay. So you thought it was real. So anyway, watching it, um, Roy Jones Roy Jones got the best of him in the first fight. Mm. Yeah. It was like... That's when Roy was Jones was Roy Jones. Amazing. It was like, and people were, weren't expecting because they, they accused Roy Jones of being in this place where, you know... Not Javante Davis style, but um, where he's fighting people that he's way better than. Oh, they they, okay. they said Cherry that picking. about him. Cherry yeah, yeah, picking. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. said this, that, and the other. So when they B hops come to the scene, it's like this is a scrap, and he he fought. He did his thing. Mm. He fought him well. He handled, like, him, out, nicely, he handled him. It was a madness. Yeah. Anyway, and it's mad because you see how slim and light Roy, um, yeah. bit, um, Hopkins was. Oh my god! Because obviously we seen him got to light heavyweight with the old yeah, 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 yeah. That was. So that was amazing. Yeah. But what I wanted to talk to you about is, bro, he chased he chased Roy Jones for 17 years. For the rematch. For the rematch. Could you... 17 years is a long time, you know. I don't know how long Kel's been waiting for Khan. <laughs> <laughs> but 17 years, fam. <laughs> Imagine how slow Khan would be in that time. <laughs> no, what? Mm. I couldn't believe... So I'm watching the fire, yeah? And obviously, you lot need to understand, people at home, yeah... Because he, he chased man for 17 years, yeah, this fight 
was the nastiest. Like, there's that scene of um, it, when AJ fights Dylan and they start fighting after the bell. That was happening all the time. It's just a scrap. It was. They it's, got to the point when it wasn't boxing. Yeah. They were just having a fight. It's the bit where um, Roy Jones must have hit him with a dirty shot. Yeah. And the referee separated them. <laughs> Bruv, Bernard Hopkins was standing there, held back by the ref, like, <laughs> just let me go. Let me go. But we ran over to the ring. Bop, 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 bop. It, it was like, Ron, there's no jab, no right hand. Just Nothing. weighing it was in. Just fighting. <laughs> it was literally, it was like, it was if I could have put Mandem, Mandem, you know when yeah, you're fighting, yeah, put yeah, Mandem, yeah, take, yeah, hey, yeah. shut up, shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, dickhead. <laughs> Hold me back. Just scrapped <laughs> off. Yeah. Yeah, like literally. And the maddest thing is, Roy Jones looked shook, bruv. When Bernard Hopkins lost his mind and he was just like, just let me go. Roy Jones was over there like, all right, well. <laughs> he didn't want no, he just backed up into a corner. But I've never seen, like if you've ever wanted to see dirtiness, yeah, that was it. But you I know what saw, it is? It was so dirty. Bro, there was a time when Bernard Hopkins literally, he comes in, this yeah, head, head, not head. a normal. Yeah. He come through the gloves, bro. Bow. Yeah. Cuts the eye. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and I'm thinking to myself, wait, he's just done. That is illegal. <laughs> you know what it is? Roy Jones was old in this fight. And the reason, like, obviously Bernard Hopkins was also old yeah. as well. But Hopkins was one of them, man. His body maintained. Yeah. Like, he he boxed at like 40, 40 something. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? He, he won a belt in, in his old yeah. age. So his his old age was different to Roy Jones because fighters that athletic, yeah. they don't age well. Yeah. So when I'm looking at this fight, I'm just like, the novelty of it is making it exciting. Yeah. When you watch it, you think, that's not Roy, though, man. Yeah. That's not Roy. That's but why when gave... men like, that's why when like Joe Calzaghe beat Roy Jones, I'm like, take that name off your CV, bruv. That weren't Roy, yeah, bro. A... I like the way. No, nah, because I like, I look at that and I'm like, things with Joe Calzaghe's career, yeah. I like the way you've done that because we might as well, we'll segue yeah, into yeah, yeah, let's segue get... into the fantasy well, fight yeah. then. Oh, we need the fact. You might as Let well. Me just quickly just okay, cool, cool. Like you look at Joe Calzaghe. Joe Calzaghe has some great names on his yeah? record. Yeah, amazing names. These men were old when he fought them. Mm. Eubank, Beaker. Huh? He fought um Beaker as well. Um. Oh, I think so. Yeah, he did. He did. But Eubank and and I think he's got Nigel Ben on there yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah, just yeah. like, no, you didn't beat it. They're Hopkins. good names beat, though. Beat good Bernard names Hopkins. though. Bernard good Hopkins names. and Roy Jones. Great names. Great old names. Men. That's why I'm like I look at it and think to myself. I mean, I understand undefeated and props because some for for a fighter to trip and have a bad night that can happen at any time. Yep. For that to not happen, salute. But those names on your CV that you that you boast about, I'm I like, was nuts. you didn't beat real Roy Jones, fam. Do you know what's so nuts? You didn't nuts. beat real Chris Eubank. I watched that Eubank fight, bro. This one was a proper little. Yeah. Year. I watched that fight and thinking, how come Chris is looking like this? Because in my mind, I'm not working out that what a shot fighter yeah. is looking like. Yeah. But I'm looking at, I'm seeing he still has his six pack. He yeah. should still be okay. But that won't Chris Eubank. Let's spark Chris Eubank over in the first round. I was so annoyed. Never you know. would happen. Do you know why I'm annoyed? Because when we was going to do the fantasy fight, yeah, I had all these names to like come yeah, at you give. with. Yeah, exactly. Now you just weren't real. That's like Tony sweep, Bellew. You guys give a sweep, fam. Like. That's like if Tony Bellew <laughs> yeah. was in the prime of his career and yeah. he fought the David Hay that he fought mm. and they walked on saying, I'm the real one. I'm the real one. I beat David Hay. Everyone mm. would be looking at him like, that wasn't David though. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. that's something like you be our old man. So that's why it's like when I look at Joe Calzaghe's career and people hail him yeah. as this, I'm like, they weren't. I yeah. mean, he, it's not his fault though. And this is the problem because it's like, I can't blame you for yeah. that. These are the names that were in front of you and they're big names. So you yeah. will take the fight. But you didn't beat the prime guys for man to look at you in the place in history and be like, Calzaghe's at the top. He, they rate, he's, rate, he's very well I know respected. They do. Very... I know they do. And it won't be an opinion that people embrace because people love Calzaghe and he's a great guy. Out on the ledge, bro. So I understand that. But at the same time, I'm like, fam, let's not discount the fact these men were old. Same way with Belly and hey, don't discount the fact these Achilles busted out and then he came back in the second fight. Bro, he chill, weren't the man, same. Chill, let go you know first. how I have my Gee, opinions chill, and that's man. just what it is. Chill, but bro. that's how I feel about Calzaghe. It's not every ep, fam. You know it's you just always hate. a good point. To, it's, <laughs> it always proves a point. That's um, the no. <laughs> But the, the, the main point with the Bernard Hopkins and Roy Jones, after all that f- scrapping and stuff, please believe at the end of the fight, mad cordial. Yeah. After I've chased you for 17 years, people Be thought not. there's no way Roy Jones you know is, is going to go on. Bernard Hopkins was at peace. Yeah. Because he's like, you know when you, you I've hated you for so long. 17 years. Because of that night. Now I've won. I can see that you actually you're, you're blessed still. You're yeah. a cool guy, and, and I think that Roy, Roy like he he needed this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. That's Roy exactly like, it. He needed this. That's like with with um, Nigel Ben and Eubank, right? So there was um, 
they did like some gladiators thing. I remember years ago on Channel that. 5. Aye. That was one of the Ripped funniest him. moments on TV. Because <laughs> they took the, when they like squared the... up to fight. Oh my days. This is they squared up right in his face. And there's a point where Eubank is saying to him, he's like, he's like, he looks at me, he's like, yeah. Now I'm, now I'm getting into it. Yes, before I wasn't here, but now I'm here. You know, maybe you could, we could get some gloves, you know, some big gloves. Some, and then, and then Nigel Ben's like, no, we don't need gloves. We don't need gloves. We can do it now. And then Eubank's like, no, we need gloves because it'll cut the skin. We don't want to cut the skin and pierce the face. <laughs> and then Eubank's just like, he, he goes to me, he's like, you know, I was, he's probably like, imagine Nigel Ben is standing here. Yeah. And Eubank's like, ah, yes, flexing his shots. And then you, Nigel Ben just goes, show what? <laughs> just shoves him. So then they separate. Everyone's pushing them apart. And then Eubank's just like, no, 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 don't hold me, don't hold me. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do anything. And he gets in his face. He just goes, okay, so you've pushed me. And, uh, bow, pushes him back. <laughs> he goes, no, I really. <laughs> it was just TV gold, fam. And that's why he is the Maybach. That's why the car is different, fam. You see what I'm saying? That's why the fact he tried to act he like he tried to act like the mature one. He was like, no, 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 I'm not gonna push him. I'm not gonna push him. He goes, okay, so you've pushed me. <laughs> <Bow>! <laughs> Listen, that was. How do you not love that? Oh, fam, you gotta love you back. You gotta Bro, love you back. This is what I'm saying. That's my expectation. Mm. That's what I've seen, and it's, and he called him junior. I wouldn't. Have. What was, anyway, I can't remember the point we was making. No, about no, this. It's, 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 I don't even remember, but that was a good segue. Oh, anyway. no, no, about peace and getting the thing. So peace, basically, yeah. in that gladiator thing, when Eubank and Nigel fought, yeah. Nigel was dominating the gladiator thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, was the one jumping. he was battering my man. <laughs> and then there's a couple of times where they scrap, well, obviously, the rules, they limit yeah. them from scrapping like that. But it was one of the ones you can see because he needed this. He needed to get a win over Eubank yeah. because yeah. the first fight, Eubank won. Second fight, draw. Mm. The whole world thought Nigel Ben won that fight, yeah. but he got robbed. So he needed this moment to be like, yeah. I've won. Yeah. I can just continue with my life. Because <laughs> that loss sticks with certain yeah, values. It you know? sticks. It sticks. So um, quickly before we get out of here, come, um, come. fantasy fights. So you got, what's the first one you're going with? Should we just do the Kawasaki one now? Yeah, let's just start on the Kawasaki one. Who do we say? Kawasaki versus? So it was um, Joe Kawasaki versus Canelo. Canelo. <laughs> As I said, I feel like Kawasaki fans are going to be straight on this conversation. <laughs> They're going to be like, oh, yeah, Jones, you definitely just outwork him. Bro, I feel like Canelo would absolutely hurt him. I don't think he'd knock him out. Yeah. But I think he's winning over 12 rounds. So it's mad, though. Like, I don't the really think names, though, on this, the names on this box rec record is crazy. Name them then. Name them Ray Jones, Bernard Hopkins, Mikhail, um, Mikhail Kessler. That's, that's a good, a, that's a yeah, good that's name. A good Kessler yeah. is a Especially good at win. The time. That's a good yeah. Win. yeah. Um, Psycho Bika, Jeff Lacey. Um, that's a good fight. That's a good fight. Um, who, who else is in here that is worthy of? Um, He's already said. Yeah, that. said Hopkins. Eubank. Um, Eubanks is on there. Is Nigel Ben on there? He beat Nigel Ben, didn't he? I don't think so. Or was that Steve Collins? No, Steve Collins for Nigel Ben. It's no Nigel Ben's definitely. Yeah, not Nigel on Ben's there. not on there. Yeah, that's right. Um, but still, those are. Yeah, Chrissy. Yeah, she just. But my thing is the age of these men when they fought him. So if these, what, if Chris these, if these are the names. Okay, so let's Google how old Chris Eubank was in '97. He was on his yeah, way out. He, yeah. was, he was big at that time as well. Like so that's and and also another point to remember about the Eubank fight. Uh, well, I think they fought twice actually. Is that right? They fought no, Eubank twice. No, once. Okay, cool. So that fight, Eubank was scheduled to fight at cruiserweight. Right, okay. and it, he, Kawasaki's opponent dropped out, and he quickly had to drop weight to make that fight. Yep. So there was that's that's another added reason why Eubank wasn't fantastic that night, on top of being old and, and slightly past it. Peter so I look Manfred, at that, he fought a lot of undefeated yeah, guys as well. No, Manfred, though, like, don't want, Manfred don't want a killer like that. He was just known because of Contender. <laughs> yeah. Contender was a great show. Hey, bring it back. That's like, oh, I please. Like reality boxing TV. Reality boxing. It. Bring it back. I need it. But, but you look at the big names that you mentioned on Kyle Sagi's yeah. record, and you, I feel like you got to put a star next to those names because there's there's something else that was going on. Yeah. His old age, or just to, that's why I'm just like, nah. There's still some conversations about Kyle Sagi's Do You know, what? I Kyle versus Canelo. Though? It's so hard for me to go. I'm never gonna go against Canelo. I'm like, yeah. and it's so stupid because now I'm fully on this hype train here that... I just never felt like Kawasaki was a special fighter in the way that Canelo was a special but fighter. But Kawasaki can go to war, though. I just think you have to be a special fighter to beat Canelo. Exactly. So I, I can't see, bro. That's why I don't I'm think... I'm the Canelo fan. Like Carl Froch. Carl Froch and Andre Ward. Yeah? Yeah. 
Cal Frosch is as tough as they come. Couldn't beat Andre Ward. That's He's it. a special fighter. Yeah. And I think Canelo and that fight could potentially look like that. Not in the same That's boxing lesson type of way, because they're different fighters, Andre Ward and Canelo, but I think Canelo would just, you just tap you know, him we're up. We're going to move your carriage, you know. What's we're going to put you into a new carriage. You're going to be in carriage C now, because I started you in carriage F. Nah, I'm not, I'm not team you Canelo. You're in carriage fam. C, fam. I'm not team Canelo, but I can acknowledge. You're moving further up there. Settle you know. down. <laughs> I will not be in VIP. <laughs> You're moving further up, fam. I'm off the train. You're going to be. <laughs> All right, come on, man. Let's go. And the next it. one was um, Nigel Ben. Yep. Versus Carl Froch. Now. That would be a battle because neither of these men have any quitting. Yeah, them. In, no one has quitting them. Um, um, I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with Nigel in this one. Mm. Um, the reason I say Nigel is, but because Frotch lacks a scrap, yeah. So but does, then I've seen. So does Nigel, fam. Exactly, but I'm thinking that I remember when Frotch for um, Groves, I saw the chinks in. I saw some. I saw the chinks in the arm round the first one, yeah. Nigel Ben's getting that work done, yeah. Nigel's getting that work done because I saw a lot in because I I would as much as I respect Groves, he ain't touching Nigel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ain't yeah, touch yeah, yeah. him at all. And I literally, I, it wasn't a robbery, but it, it was it, definitely a rob. No, okay, it was a robbery in my not okay. Not don't robbery. call it that's a robbery. A bad, that's that's too term. much. That's too harsh. We've seen bad, robberies. It was a bad performance by the referee. Yes. Better. That's what we could just say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, yeah. just on the basis of that, I have because and Nigel was cut from. I don't know where it is if them man were just harder then or we was younger and we just thought everything was amazing. There's ro- rose tints have a lot to do with how we look at the old boxes as well. Yeah, but at the same time, fam, the stuff I've seen Nigel Ben do, like when he got sl- he got banged through the ropes by Joe McLennan. Yeah, climbed into the ring, got back in, wobbly on his feet, come back and and did a madness in that fight. So I'm looking, I'm thinking, I, I ain't seen nobody with that kind of heart today. I mean, Tyson Fury's heart is definitely in that conversation. But what Nigel Ben was, it? Nigel Froch Ben was a But Froch is special as well. That's he what's is, but, crazy. Like, but I feel time, so bad talking about Froch in this manner. The same way Froch loves the scrap, Nigel Ben loves the scrap. That's it. It'll be a beautiful fight to watch. Oh, man. It'll I've be interesting. fight, yeah. And Nigel Ben got tagged, big shot, bang, spun his head. And Nigel Ben just nodded, backed himself into a corner, beat his own chest and said, come on now. <laughs> Fam, the guy was... And he was talking to his own spirit, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even talking to the guy. That's what I mean. He was talking to his inner, his inner man, fam. Um, now, um, I'll, you know what? Let, let's leave that for the comment section. Comment section, you tell us what you think because I'm obviously, gonna, I know you're... Because you don't really I'm, like Froch. That's not... Are you no, looking at it with, I, okay, with no, like I'm, a... I'm, trying, I'm being unbiased here. Yeah. Like, you know, good. for me to give credit to Canelo, yeah. like, you know I'm being oh, unbiased. Oh, man, yeah, it's mad. But I think Nigel Ben... I, I I just don't know how Froch was... Because sta- what it is, Carl Froch's style is perfect for Carl Froch. Yeah. As in, he takes most punishment on the button and somehow he's just still there in the 12th. Yeah. I just don't know if he could take Nigel Ben's madness on the yeah. button like that. Because Nigel yeah. Ben, could, he was concussive. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't see how his awkward style would match up with taking those clean shots mm-hmm. from Nigel. So yeah. I, think, I think Nigel beats him. I say it too. Anyway, the final one, um, the last one we got today. This one is a bad one. I just always, I'm so uncomfortable anytime this man's name comes up, but I understand why we're doing this. Yeah, yeah, let's do yeah? it. Yeah. So this one is Muhammad Ali and Lennox Lewis versus Lennox Lewis. Okay, now at, at home, yeah, I know what's <laughs> happened at home. Everyone's triggered. <laughs> Everyone's triggered. He, he, he literally, as soon as you say Muhammad Ali's name, yeah, people go, the world is triggered. Take out for, for a second. Take out Let's all just, the social Just allow activity. boxing. Just allow boxing to prevail in this conversation. Take out everything and less boxing. What's happening? I think um, this is a very... I'm still uncomfortable, but we are on the ledge, bro. Speak, well, your, speak your truth. We just got to talk the things. I think it's a great <sighs> matchup as far as like boxing goes because you got Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Yeah. Great footwork. Yeah. I mean, he has the type of footwork that you watch and you think, how can you maintain that? Yeah. Because it's just so constantly on the toes. It's, it's mad. But then you've got the jab of Lennox Lewis. Very solid jab. Yeah. Right? And he's not sti- he's not stiff either. But he's not. he doesn't move like Ali. So he ain't got that as foreman. He ain't coming with that foreman he's not. No, nah, he's not coming like he's, a stiff. No. Nah. Yeah, yeah. He's going to have a Because that's what plan. I was trying to use. I was trying to use yeah, foreman. if it's going to be foreman style. But he's quicker than foreman. I don't, clearly. I don't know who really you compare Lewis to. Like historically, style wise, because mm. it's it's one of the ones where he's big, 
but he's also not stiff. And yeah. He, he's quite adaptable and he can move as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's Do you like, not think that Ali will frustrate him though with how oh, quick lot, he is? For a lot a lot of like for a lot of the fight he'll be frustrated because of how Ali moves. But the thing is about Ali, it depends which Ali we choose. So if we go with Ali when he fought Sonny Liston the first time, that's twenty two year old Ali. Toes, bruv, bouncing, 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 bouncing. I want the best but Ali then, and the best Lewis. I'm not talking yeah, about okay. any Okay, cool. So it's, it's kinda hard to pinpoint best. Ali's prime. Yeah. But I think Lewis's prime came when he had that dominant run yeah. with the belts. And I I really do feel like it's hard to it's hard to go either way because Lewis I don't Don't think, be safe now, bro. No, because what it is, yeah. Lewis had a good chin. Yeah. Right? Like, I don't think Ali's power would be enough to put Lewis on the mat. Yeah. Because Lu- especially the way Ali threw his shots, he was a very much of a touch puncher. He'd, he'd yeah. sit up, 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 but he wouldn't really dig and try to get you out. Yeah. So I'm looking, I'm thinking, all right, so then let's maybe potentially rule out a Lewis stoppage, unless it was a blitzing stoppage where it's like, bam, 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 and all kind of madness mm. going on. But I don't see Lewis gassing out. At the same time, Ali's going to have to deal with a bigger man who's very capable. And I think yeah. he's more capable than some of the guys that Ali fought. Like, let's say Joe Fraser. So do you know what? Just to jump in there. Do you know where I think the fight is The fight is lost? And obviously, we know he calls him the pugilist specialist and stuff, yeah? The fight is lost in the build-up, actually. Because on the whole build-up, he's telling you... Ali has this way about him where, obviously, you know, fly like a bar, fly sting like a bee. And you're actually watching him do it, <laughs> yeah? Mm. And it's pissing you off. You're watching him... Be hard to reach. The trash talk so in the quick. fight as well. Yes, even in the fight. But that dickhead. He obviously not saying that. That's me. Yeah. But he's he'll be saying stuff while you're fighting. Do you see know what I'm saying? And like it or not, um, Lennox did say yeah that he said when he saw Evander coming and he's singing yeah it, it pissed, him, pissed off. him off. Aye, so aye. so <laughs> this man I'm thinking he does say this exactly he's singing. So like it or not it. Something, what Ali's doing from beginning in the lead up mm. to it to in the ring and me not being able to connect is going to get me just out of pocket just a little bit. Yeah, mentally. Where I can, where that might give me an edge. Do you mm. see what I'm saying? So that, that's the only chink. If I'm talking yeah, about all these fighters yeah, and that, stuff, okay. I'm just listening to what he said and thinking to myself, well, he'll he'll get a reaction and Ali talks to his fighters He's talking while he's yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's talking while he's fighting. And the worst thing is, I've seen it with Mayweather. Everyone that fights Mayweather, even Canelo, great Canelo. They get everyone the that fights him and they, they're <laughs> like, I haven't hit him this round. Well, well, Andre- <laughs> <laughs> I haven't hit him. I haven't hit That's him. That's a mad realisation. Do, you know <laughs> Do you know what it's mad? When you go back to your thing and say, raw, I, I, I had no moments in that I round. I had no moments. <laughs> I couldn't even steal the last 20 seconds. I had nothing. Do you know what's mad is when what, uh, Andre Berto talks about fighting Floyd. Yeah. he's just like, he goes, it's crazy because the whole thing just slows down. And it's like, he moves so fast. You could just see him watching you and he's registering. And it's like, you could, you could hear him go, mm-hmm, okay. And it's like, <laughs> he goes, and it's like, bow, he goes, he's right there and you go for it and he's gone. And it's like the journey, the mental journey over the round. There you go. And all I'm thinking about is the pre-talk and everything that he's told me. Do you see what I'm saying? So unless, if he is truly the pugilist specialist, which he is, but mm. that, that's the only thing he showed me one chink in his mm. armor, which is that way he said, right, he's singing and it affected him. Come on. Ali would come out. Ali. He'd be, <laughs> that's it. You reckon Ali would take it to another level and sing the anthem before the fight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, say. The, I remember the Louisville lip as well, you know, so it's not like the he's been talk. known for talking. Do you see what I'm saying? So he'll be That's flagrant. Such a good He'll be flagrant point, and he'll be getting into all points of where you know, you're from, you're not one of us, we, or everything. It's mad because we never mentioned the build up and how that would affect the fight in the fantasy fight conversation. Yeah, but this is the one time this you have to. This is the one time where you have you to. You have to because I can't, you can't just divide them because again, you couldn't just say, um, you couldn't just you say, couldn't just say he outbox because you couldn't do that. You couldn't say Ali would outbox Lennox. It's frustration. It'd it's, have to, it has to be pure it'll frustration. Come down to more, yeah. It has to come down to pressure. And, and also, what we'd be testing is to see how um, how long it would take for Lewis to establish some type of success yeah. consistently against Ali. Because nobody really did. Yeah. Like, yeah. on a consistent basis. You yeah. can see that, fr- I think, Frazier and Ali, the way they match up, you can see that the styles clash and inside is what made as that, well. Yeah. Like, you just got so close. It's Whereas I've never really seen... An- I mean, Ken Norton mm-hmm. was probably the one who gave Ali the most difficulty, yeah. right? He was a boxer puncher. And in, in a lot of ways, you could say Lewis has 
some of those attributes yeah. because he can mix it up and he can he's powerful as well. So yeah. it'd be a hell of it'll a fight, wicked. man. We'll never I see actually, it. I actually can't choose. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I actually can't choose. Really? I really can't no, choose. I'm getting, I'm getting with just the... I'm, I'm, I've used... It's unfair because he showed... I've you, never you, got to sit down the with... The X Factor yeah. that you've introduced to the thing is the one thing I'm looking at I'm thinking that's a... Yeah. yeah, that's a good... Well, leave it again. Comment section... And Spencer. And the thing, the thing <laughs> and is, just anyone who ever what to call it like, also, is listening to this. And the thing is, like, it's not going to be an easy conversation for like for any boxing fan to go through because, like, Lennox is regarded as one of history's best heavyweights. Yeah. So, anybody who coming and going, ah, nah, nah, be it's like no, actually, just take a moment to think about it. Yeah, take all the stuff because it's so. As soon as you say Ali, I get uncomfortable the because it's like it's yeah, like the you social think of everything, impact, man. You yeah. think of everything in this. It, it, it's almost. You're fighting the man, the brand, the the, the, the struggle. History, the, bro. You're fighting everything, and it's These, like who the, him? The little bro, Af- shut up. The, the little kid, the African kids in the documentary. Yeah, right, when we were kings. Oh come on, there's come too on. many. Layers there's too many. That. That's what I'm it's saying. Mumbai, fam. You just start end up saying it. Yeah, I mean so. The <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, no, it's, people, it's, man, I like this episode. Yeah. Like this episode. Listen, nah, this was fun. Like, subscribe, share. We said a lot of stuff. Yeah. Again, if you don't agree with us, say what you think, man. Comment yeah. section, Get man. Comments, Get man. busy, man. Let's do our thing. And um, thank you for watching. Thank you for And supporting. for the love of Floyd, please share this episode with your people, bruv. And maybe the little bro title could be yours. <laughs> <laughs> all right cool you look till next one man. oh sugar the big fight the big fight the big fight yeah oh by the time we by the we, time we come we, back no, no. there'll be a new there'll be an official champion someone will be someone won't be undefeated basically yeah i mean we've put our predictions out for the, the no i'm fight. just saying this like oh yeah we'll but know. next time you see next us again episode, yeah we'll, there will be like someone is not undefeated mm. mad man mad that re- us. it should set up the wilder and aj fight boy it's gonna Only be exciting us. Undefeated and whoever wins. <laughs> Wilder. <laughs> Fury. Wilder. Hold tight, man. Deontay. Don't say that. Fury. He's undefeated. I'll defeat him. I'm jabbing, jabbing. I'm dodging, weaving. I'll uppercut him. I'll leave him bleeding. He's cut, man's got to go hard this evening. Tenth round, I can hear man breathing. But my fitness comes like a terminal sickness. It can't leave me. I train like I'm addicted. All this pain I've inflicted. Rip shot, leave a man winded. Take a knee. Ten, eight round, that's me. Championship round, I'm sweet. Flock like a butterfly, sting like bee. Your hands can't hit what your eyes can't see. WBOWBC. Give me all of the belts, put them all on me. Give me all of the belts, put them all on me. Undefeated. Undefeated. Undefeated, undefeated.